welcoming everybody and to all of our viewers around the Buckeye State. I'm Danny Holbrook alongside Darren Gilbert and our entire WSM crew. And from Marion Harding High School, round three of the state football playoffs as the Van Wert Cougars tackle the West Holmes Knights. A great contest tonight, Darren, if you like offensive football. Offensive football, you're going to see an explosion tonight. The Van Wert throwing the football and the ability of West Holmes and their size across the interior line and also with Mr. Uh, do everything, <laughs> kickoff right. return, punt return, and running the football, it, it's going to be a very entertaining game. And of course he's talking about Sam Williams Dixon, the tailback from West Holmes who is being courted by every major college, Tennessee, Penn State, Iowa State, you name them, they're looking at that young man and he for every reason is the real deal. Oh, he's put some phenomenal numbers up. Uh, this year for West Holmes and their record is indicative of, of how good they really are. You know, you mentioned earlier today in your show the number of points that they put up Amazing. offensively. Yeah. So it's going to be one of these games for Van Wert that they're going to have to play four quarters of football and they're going to have to put West Holmes in third and long situations and play the, the old philosophy of bend, don't break. And, you know, if they play like that and they can get an early lead tonight, Danny, I had a pleasure to have him last week, and they jumped on Sandusky Perkins 13 to nothing. And uh, we'll see if they, they've got that firepower in them tonight. Let's see if they can do that. Uh, you take a look at West Holm. They've scored 50 points four times this year. They've scored 60 points two times. The closest game all year has been 23 points. Last week they beat St. Mary's 56 to 21. They've had 12 running clocks. Yeah, and that, and that St. Mary's game was 21 to 21, 14 minutes into the game, and then they just went on a tear. So Van Wert will take the opening kickoff, bring it back to the 20-yard line, and that's where they'll take off offensively. They are led by quarterback Aiden Pratt, 6'4", 205-pound senior. That young man is being looked at by a lot of colleges at the Division I level as well. He's 224 of 316 for 32 and 19 yards, 37 touchdowns and three interceptions. Darren, he takes care of the ball. He well, really does. He's a really good defensive end, too. So, <laughs> right. you know, what position is he better at? He does, does things very well on both sides of the ball. He's got Brylan Parker back there with him. The 5'9", 190-pound junior has 142 attempts, 773 yards. So Pratt is in the gun. He's got a man in motion. He's got two to the right. Pratt's going to look. He's going to throw to the right side. He's got his man out there. He crosses the 20, outside of the numbers to the 25-yard line. That's where he'll be taken down, out of bounds. Yeah, it was Crutchfield with the reception. Reception made by number 11. That's Maddox Crutchfield. He's got 58 receptions this year for 880 yards. Darren, they've got four mm -hmm. receivers, 880 yards, 775 yards, 620 yards, and 610 and, yards. And, and, so, and here use them all. That's right. And as much as we talk about the West Holmes offense, uh, Van Wert can play, play with anybody. You betcha. So here's Pratt in the gun. He's going to fake the handoff. He's going to go up the right side. He's going to run up to about the 30-yard line. That's where he'll be taken down, and that's going to bring up a third down. Uh, about third and two or three there. My goodness, West Holmes closes on the football really, really quick. They do, and Darren, they have got a huge defensive line. Darren, they have got the offensive player of the year. They've got the defensive player of the year, the special teams player of the year, and the coach of the year in that league. So here we go, third and two from the 29. Van Wert, this is Pratt. He's in the gun. He's going to fake the handoff. He's going to keep himself right up the middle. He goes across the 40. He's got a big hole. He's going to get a first down. So Aiden Pratt shows you his athleticism as he goes across the 40-yard line to pick up a Leland Smith first down. Leland Smith Insurance Services, your first call for all your insurance needs. They big, are our first down sponsor. Big play by that senior right there, a little RPO action. And now uh, Van Wert's in a little bit of hurry up here, Darren. They get the ball out to the left side. Catch was made by number six. That's Nate Phillips. He's going to take it out to almost the 50-yard line. Here they go in the hurry-up offense. Yeah, this is the start of your coach record. you got to be pleased because they're running the clock and, and controlling the tempo of the game. And There's a connection made to Garrett Gunter. And he goes across the 40-yard line, Garrett Gunter. He's one of those explosive wide receivers. He's got 57 receptions for 775 yards and five touchdowns. Here goes Van Wert again in the quick huddle. Here's Pratt in the gun. He's got trips to the left. He looks across the right. He's got his man out there. Reception made by number seven. That's Parker. Ryland Parker, the tailback, out of the backfield. Swings out there, gets a catch out there, and that'll set up a third and about four. The start right now Pratt's having is definitely beneficial for Van Wert. He's throwing a tight spiral right now and really spinning it. Here's Pratt. Almost. Oh, he gets his reception. Oh, it was almost picked boy. up. His man's open. He's going to go down the sidelines. 
Oh, he's going to be taken close. down about the one yard line. Darren, that could have been a disaster yes. for Van Wert, but it turns into a huge gain, and the Cougars are sitting at first and goal. Yeah, like you said, that could have turned into a pick six for West Holmes. It was a gamble, it was taken, you know, and, and, and they lost it there, unfortunately, for West Holmes. Big play for the Cougars. Let's see if they can't punch it in. So here comes Pratt in the gun. He's got a tail back to the left of him. He's going to keep it himself. Go right at the middle. And he is going to. Let's see he's if he got in. Close, he's going to be really oh, yes. They're going to give it to him. They're going to give him a touchdown. Unbelievable. Aiden Pratt gives the Cougars the 6-0 lead on the Lodex Jewelry scoreboard. Lodex Jewelry, your family owned and operated jeweler for over 70 years. Visit them in Coldwater or Van Wert or online at Lodex.com. Yeah, this is, a, this is the exact start yes. that they put on the board last week against Perkins on Perkins' home field, and what a great start by Van Wert. Our extra point sponsor tonight is Lee Kinsel Sales and Service. Let's see if Van Wert can tap, tap that extra point on Snap is back, hold is good, kick is up, and it is good. The Cougars lead on the, excuse me, on the Lodix Jewelry scoreboard, seven to nothing. Watch high school football, don't to listen. Welcome back to Marion Harding High School where the Van Wert Cougars have absolutely stunned this crowd with an 80-yard drive, Darren, and that is exactly what the doctor ordered for the Cougars. Well, on this side, it's a stunner. On the on the other side, if you're a Van Wert Cougar, that's come to be expected, and they did that, like I said, last week, and they've done it throughout the season, so why not tonight be any different? So the Cougars will kick off. It's going to be interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Are they going to push it right here? St. Mary's yeah. got smoked twice, you know, last week, you know, kicking the ball to that young man. And yeah, well, they've got him deep back on the uh, left side of the field, and I'm sure that the ball will go to the right side. I can almost promise you that. And that's exactly, well, I'm sorry, to the left side of the field. So they'll stay away from Dixon. Well, he was close to having his knee well, down also. Sure, uh, ball comes up to the he gets outside of the numbers, then he take it down to the 20-yard line. And that's where... West Home Knights will start their offensive set. They are led by quarterback Mason Wolf. He's got 2,854 yards, 39 touchdowns, and two interceptions. Darren, he also takes care of the ball. It's going really well. to be a mirror image of, like you know, like I said, I keep going back last, last week, but Lesh was a really good player for Perkins too. So we got two fine quarterbacks going at one another tonight too. So here comes West Home's Knights. Wolf is in the gun. He's got Dixon back behind him. He's going to hand the ball to Dixon. Here comes Dixon across the 20, and he is going to be taken down by a host of Cougars. Sure and that is exactly what they need to do. They've got a gang tackle, and they've got to meet that wall head on. Yeah, they're going to have to. They're going, the front four is going to have to win the line of scrimmage, and right there they won that possession. Trying to see who was in on the stop. It appeared to be number 54. Logan Dotson with the stop there for the Cougars. And Williams Dixon last week, seven touchdowns. <laughs> Just an amazing, amazing high school career for this young man. Here comes Wolf in the gun. He looks around. He's got his man to the left. He goes across the 20 to about the 25, and that's where he'll be taken down. That's going to bring up a big third down and about five there. So, man, we're sitting pretty on third and five. Connor Smith coming up with from the safety position and making a stop right there. Or Carson, I believe. Apologies, Carson Smith. And, folks, I apologize if we get some names or numbers mixed up. We are in the smallest booth I've been in all year, and I apologize for that. We don't have any lighting, so it's kind of dark in here, so we're going to do the best we can. We promise you we're going to bring you a great broadcast uh, and lots of excitement from this game. So here comes Wolf in the gun. He's got William Dixon to his right. He's got two receivers to the right and two to the left. It's third and fourth from the 26. Wolf takes the snap. He's going to roll to his right. He looks downfield. He's going to run it, and he's going to be taken oh, down by the absolutely. Cougar defense. And Great the job by the, the two interior players it appear to be number 54 and 55. Logan Dotson, number 54, yes, and Jackson, and Jackson Jones. Jones. Yes. So the Van Wert Cougars hold them the highest powered offense in the state of Ohio to three and out on their first possession. You got to feel good about being the Cougars. Back deep for Van Wert is number 11. This is Maddox Crutchfield. Cougars, Snaps a little high. Oh, almost blocked. And Van Wert's going to get the ball at the 45. He'll bring it to the 50, across the 45, and up to the 40-yard line, number seven. Big return there by Parker. Ryland Parker, the tailback, and Darren, 
What a start for the Cougars. Yes, great start for the Cougars. Second possession here. Let's see if Aiden can't continue to move the football through the air with his legs. Get the football to the athletes and let them go to work. That's where they'll take over first and ten. Our first down sponsor is Leland Smith Insurance Services. Your first call for all your insurance needs. Danny Holbert, Darren Gilbert from Marion Harding High School. Round three of the state playoffs. Aiden Pratt and the Van Wert Cougars lead seven to nothing. First and ten from the 43. Pratt's got trips to the right. He's got two receivers to the left. He's in the gun. He takes the snap. He throws off his left side. He's got his man out there across the 40 to the 35. And he makes his way to the 30 for a first down. Aiden Pratt is on fire as he finds number 11, his number one target, Maddox Crutchfield, and he takes it up to the 30-yard line. I'll tell you, Connor Campbell's not going to get any credit for yards right there, but he freed Absolutely. up his teammate and got him to break that interior line there for that big game. Here comes Pratt. He's going to keep it himself. He's going to pick up about three yards. That'll take it up to about the 26-yard line. Hey, look, uh, Aiden Pratt is a serious threat to run the ball. He's mm -hmm. an athletic quarterback, and he's big and he's strong, yes. and he gets, and he's, he gets through he's that line. He's very quick. Absolutely. You know, he, he runs track, and he's, he's really athletic on the basketball court. Here's Pratt as he rolls off, and he throws one out there. He's got his man out there for another first down. That's number eight. That is Kate. Sorry, it's Caitlin, Bill. Yeah, I don't think he had any receptions last week or even any targets. That's a big reception for that young man. That just gives another target for the... <laughs> For the Cougars. Another target. So that is a Leland Smith first down. Here's Pratt. He's going to keep himself. Runs up the middle. He's at the 15. He gets up to the 12-yard line. Wow. <laughs> a lot of credit's got to go to the interior line right there. They're just opened up a big hole there between A and B gap for him to get through. Their balance right now between their pass and their run is really, it really has Millersburg West Holmes on their heels. Yes. So here's Pratt in the gun. He's got two to the left, two to the right. He's got a man in the slot position. He's got one in motion. He's going to keep it himself as he goes off the left side. He goes up to about the eight-yard line, and that's going to bring up third and about two, maybe three from the 13-yard line. Well, and Van Wert's seen it all defensively yes, yes. this year. Well, West Holmes, I don't know if they've seen an offense like this. I know last week they had to go against the Veer and the Counter and sure. St. Mary's, and you got to change your whole defensive game plan when you come in to play against the wide open offense like this. Here's Pratt in the gun. He's got trips to his left. He's got two to the right. He's going to throw off his back feet to the left side. He's got his man out there. He's got number eight. That's Bills again. As he goes up to about the five yard line. You look at Van Wert, Darren. They've scored 40 points four times this year. They've scored 60 points one time. And they've scored 70 points two times. They average offensively 44.5. That's why I said, you want to talk about a matchup made in heaven. These two teams, this is amazing. Yes. Last week, we had two teams. We thought it was going to be an offensive possession game, and it turned out to be a slugfest. Here's Pratt in the gun. He's got two to the left, two to the right. He's going to keep it himself. He goes across the five to the four to the three, and he is going to come close to the two-yard line. That's going to bring up third and goal. Well, he's close. He's marching his way in there, isn't he? He absolutely is. you got to believe this is going to be two-down territory for the Cougars. And you just wonder. They've got Ryland Parker in the backfield with him. They have not given him the ball yet. You just wonder if they're using him as a decoy or what we're going to see next. Here's Pratt, and he's on. He's going to keep himself. He goes across the two to the one. Did he get in? He got close. And, it's got and they got him. Another touchdown. Are you kidding me? Aiden Pratt goes across from three yards out to give the Cougars the 13-0 lead on the Leotmodics Jewelry scoreboard. you got to remember this quarterback, who is a quarterback in the 2020 state championship game. Right? Yeah, absolutely. This is just another game for that young man. Our extra point sponsor is Lee Kinzel on Urban Road. Man, we're going to take a look at the pre-owned specials at LeeKinzel.com. So here is the extra point attempt. Snap is back. The hold is good. The kick is up, and it is good. With 5:01 to go in the first quarter, the Van Wert Cougars lead the Millersburg West Home Knights 14 to nothing. You're watching high school football right here on WOSN. We're back here at Marion Harding High School with the Van Wert Cougars having 14 and another lead, 5 one to play. And Darren Aiden Pratt right now is in complete control of this Cougar offense. Well, I think the whole offense, including the interior line, they're, they're winning the line of scrimmage right now. The receivers are specialty players, are doing their job and creating 
creating situations for their teammates to advance yeah. the football. Now, for our viewers at home, Darren, you 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 had Van Wert last week. Did they go to this no huddle offense yes. last week? Yeah. Yeah, they so. tried to control the tempo, and they, they jumped out to a 13 nothing lead, and then they went to a little lull. But you had to give a lot of credit to Perkins. So and West Holmes is not going to back. Down. No, no, no. Make adjustments <laughs> right here. And, yeah. And it, Trust me, it's it's not going to be as easy as this first two possession seems. They've got William William Dixon on the left side. They moved him across from the right side. They've also got number ten back there, Kyle Maltriark, six three, one hundred and eighty pound receiver. And this is Williams Dixon, and he's going to field it. This is the Division One candidate here, Williams Dixon. As he's got the ball. He goes across the thirty five. Boy, Darren, you can see <laughs> you can see his explosive ability. He is. He, you, you just wait for him to break one loose. He, he's that fun to watch. He's slippery and slithery, and he, he got through there. If it wasn't for Mr. Parker sticking his nose in there, that stiff arm was right there. He may have took that thing to the house. So Millersburg West home, first and ten from the. 37-yard line. Mason Wolf is in the gun. He's got Williams Dixon behind him. He's got trips to the right. He's got a single lone receiver on the left side, and he's got one in motion. Here's Wolf in the gun. He takes the ball, hands it to Williams Dixon, goes across the 37, and he is hit by number 11 immediately, and that is Maddox Crutchfield. Darren, he met him right at the line of scrimmage. Well, the linebackers for Van Wert played really, really well last week. Stayed in the lanes and, and uh, did a, just a phenomenal job playing fundamentally sound football as well. Z, the, the down four lineman. Nice play there by Van Wert. Here's Wolf in the gun. He's got Williams Dixon to his right. Wolf's going to look right across the field. He's going to throw deep down the left side. He's got a man out there guarded heavily, and it's picked off. It's and picked it's, off. Number 28 for the Cougars. Reese Krug for the Cougars has yeah, the, the interception. Officials, officials, yes, sir. Reese Krug, the big play. And he was going for number 10, Kyle Maltriak of West Holmes and he just misses him and it's a turnover and here come the Cougars. Danny, one of the big defensive stats that Van Wert has is they had three different players with four interceptions coming into tonight's game. If I'm not mistaken, that's Mr. Cruz, fifth on the year. Unbelievable the start Van Wert's got here. So with 4.21 to go, the Cougars lead 14 to nothing. They just get the first turnover of the game. And it looked like he was beat, Darren. It looked like he was beat down the sidelines, and he made up in great closing speed. Well, that's, you know, what he lacks in size, height-wise, he is exceptionally quick with his feet. Nice play by Crew. Here comes Aiden Pratt. He's going to hand the ball, ball to Parker. Up the left side to the 30, to the 35. And what a play by number seven, Ryland Parker. The speedy scat back gets up and down the field as quick as anybody out there. Yeah, they're just chunking yards right now here in this first quarter. This is an absolute offensive uh, classroom. I'm telling you, Terran, they are just taking them to school right now. Aiden Pratt with the ball. He's going to keep it himself, and he is going to be hit immediately. And that is a loss. That will take him back to about the 32-yard line. Nice job by West Holmes right there reading that run pass option and that defensive end did not bite on that. Big number 54 Corbin Felton, the 6 foot 205 pound senior just destroyed Aiden Pratt on that play. Yeah, he laid the wood to <laughs> Pratt sure in did. the first couple series of the games and when Pratt got up, he packed him on top of the head. So, yeah, he's he's putting a lot of pressure on Pratt right now. Here's Pratt. He's got three to the right. He throws out. He's got his man out there. Bring it up to the That's Gunter, I believe. Gunter. That is, yeah, that is number 10 for the Cougars. Garrett Gunter. And that's going to bring up first. Or, I'm sorry, third down. And a foul. They're going to mark it. Let's see. About, about five. About five yards to go. So here come the Cougars. They're in the hurry-up offense. Pratt's in the backfield. He's got Parker to his left. He's got two receivers to his left. He's got two receivers to the right. He looks across the field and his head coach to get his play call. 3.33 to go. Coop's up 14-0. got a man in motion. That's Crutchfield. Here comes Pratt. He's going to roll to his left. He's going to fire the ball across the field. And he misses. It's intercepted. Intercepted by Williams Dixon. Here comes Williams Dixon. He's got the ball at the 40. He's at the 40. He's at the 35. And that's where he'll be taken down. Tip ball right there. Great defensive set there by West Holmes. Dropping back into a zone coverage situation. Tip ball. Big interception for West Holmes. And it was a tough pass to make for Aiden Pratt as he was rolling to his left. And he tried to throw back against oh, yeah. his body. The ball was tipped, as you said. And Sam Williams Dixon is the beneficiary. He picks it off, and boy, he could have took it back. Yeah, he tried to throw a dart there and throw it, in, throw it into a seam. And it was tipped. And big play there by West Holmes. So West Holmes has got a little bit of momentum here with 3.20 to go. He was 14 nothing. 
both teams turning the football over in this past series. Here's Wolf in the gun. Gets the ball out to number 10. He gets across the 30 to the 25. And that's number 10, Kyle Terrick. 6'3", 180-pound receiver. Boy, you can see he's got some long strides there. He gets out a lot of ground. He sure does. Carson Smith with the stop. You got Malteric and Williams Dixon, and boy, they just they keep throwing athletes at you. Mason Wolf. Here's Wolf in the gun. He's got Williams Dixon to his left. He's got two receivers to the right. Malteric is in motion. They're going to hand the ball to Williams Dixon. And he's taken down right away as soon as he caught that ball. Looks like taken fir down. first and uh, Jones. Yeah. And Critchfield Great was out in the crack at number 55 for the Cougars. Jones? Yeah, Jackson Jones, 6'1", 240 pound seat. A Kraken. He wasn't playing around on that play. No. So 229 to go, third and one for the 26. So a big third down here for the Knights of West Holmes. Let's see what they do. Mason Wolf is in the gun. Williams Dixon is behind him. Wolf's going to take it. He's going to hand to Williams Dixon. He'll get the first down easily. Smith first down. So anytime you need. A big play. They're going to go to Williams Dixon. And now we've got a little, a little bit of a physical, skirmish. Huh? Yeah. Get Number a little physical <laughs> in that interior line. Number 73, Gage Brown from West Holmes had his helmet ripped off. And he looked at the official, wanted a penalty, and there was no penalty called. So not real sure what happened there. But uh, Last stop was made by the two linebackers, McCracken. And with his help of Crutchfield. Here's Wolf in the gun. He's got Williams Dixon to his left. He's got two to the left, one to the right. He's going to throw across the field, and he just overshoots his Ooh. receiver, his intended target of Malteric, the 6'380 pound shooter. Ooh, did you see the eyes of number five did, right there? I did, I did. Shooting that gap. He, he, had, he had yardage in front of him. He'd have got his hands on it. That appeared to be Mr. Uh, Steeman. And it's unbelievable, Darren. You look at Mason Wolf, he's got two interceptions this year. You look at Aiden Pratt, and he's got three interceptions this year, and they both they both interceptions thrown one tonight. in the first quarter, absolutely. Yeah. So here's Mason Wolf in the gun. He's got Williams Dixon to the left. He's got two to the left. He's got man and right. This is Malteric in motion. The snap goes high, and there's flags on the play. We're probably going to get a false it. start, false maybe? False start, yeah. Yep, that's exactly what they're calling. It'll be a false start. That'll back up West Holmes five yards. Danny Holbrook, Darren Gilbert from Marion Harding High School. Glad you could join us wherever you are in the Buckeye State. Proud to bring you this game from WOSN. It's going to be a battle in the trenches tonight. You know, and Darren, if you look at the lights of the stadium, you see the white stuff coming down? <laughs> <laughs> Brother, that's snow. Yeah, well, I got news <laughs> for you. It's going to be here for a while, too. March can't come uh, fast enough. <laughs> yeah, so, hey, at least we're in a booth and we're out of the elements. Hey, exactly. So. <laughs> Been there, done the other. That's right. Second and 15 from the 29, 158 to go in the first quarter. That just seemed like it's flown by here. And now they're having a little problem with the clock as it's shifted to 20 seconds. So we got to reset the play clock. And now they're saying, I, I cor correctly uh, said, uh, I, did, I was not correct when I said it. There's now 20 seconds to go. They had 158 up there. Now they put it down to two minutes. Boy, they're having all kinds of problems with it. So now they're saying the clock is at two minutes. They're just having fun. Yep, we'll go with two minutes. So here's Wolf in the gun. He's got trips to the left. He's got Williams Dixon in the slot. He's going to look across the field. He's going to throw down the middle towards the end zone. Oh He's got boy. his man out there. Oh, yeah. just over. I number think, six. I think this there. one's coming back, though, partner. I think you're Somebody right. had a hands underneath Aiden Pratt's face mask. Yep, that's what they're saying. They're holding on that offensive line. And his intended target was number six, Nate Fair, the 6'3", 190-pound receiver. Darren, you look at these receivers for West Holmes. They're six. We commented about the size of these kids when they came out of the tunnel. They yeah. are huge. I mean, they are huge and athletic. Yeah, well, what's the movie with Denzel? Uh, remember the Titans. Yeah, remember the Titans and some of the teams that are coming That's out there. Right. That's what they look like coming yeah. in from the sideline. Big, athletic, yeah. like you said, long at the receiver spot. Big play there by Aiden Pratt, though, on the right defensive end. That'll bring him second and 26 from the 40. And really, they have backed them up since the interception. So a great job by Van Wert of holding their own. Here's Wolf in the gun. He's got Williams Dixon off to his right. He's got trips to the left and a single set receiver on the right side. He looks across the field to his coach to get the instructions. This is one where Van Wert just got to sit down and contain the football right here. They got him in second and long. 
This is Wolf with the ball. He's going to look across. He's going to pump fake. He's going to go long down the middle of the field. He's got his man out there, and he overshoots him. He was going for number 10, Monteri, and he had him. He just overshoots him. My goodness, when they get loose, they oh. can run. Yeah, he's had two receivers completely wide open, and he's just overshot them. And could that be nerves, Darren, or is he just – and he's got plenty of time to throw the ball. His offensive line has given him a lot of time. Well, I think that's it, it's going to happen. Just give him a little bit of time. It's a little bit of timing issue right there. You know, Van Wert cannot let somebody like that get behind them. So that'll bring a third 26 from the 40. Here's Wolf in the gun. He's got trips to the left. He gets the ball. He looks across the field. He's under heavy pressure. He rolls to his right. He's going to be taken down oh, in the backfield. Point. Are you kidding me? That first. Oh, my goodness. Let's see who that is. I believe that's Mr. First, the, the left defensive end. He had a whale of a ball game, number 53. Number 53, you are correct, Aaron. And he takes him down, Jacob First, for a big loss. That's going to bring up fourth and 34, and that's going to bring out the punting unit, number 11, Nick Ginsburg, the 5'10", 150-pound senior kicker specialist. He'll be kicking off, or he'll be punting to the Van Wert Cougars. So no, no harm, no foul on the turnover by the Cougars. The ball goes down to about the 20, gets to the 15, and that's where it'll be taken down. So really, Van Wert did a great job with keeping control of that game with that turn. That interception meant what? Nothing. Yeah, I was going to say, 10, 15 The, yards, the yeah, defense yeah, exactly. come out and did what they had to do, got the football back. So 102 to go here in the first quarter. Van Wert leads 14 to nothing over Millersburg West Holmes. Aiden Pratt and the Cougars have pretty much done what they wanted to offensively. They've ran the ball with Pratt. They've moved the ball through the air. The receivers have been spectacular. And really, the, the, the interception, Darren, was a tip pass. With, you know, mm -hmm. So he didn't directly throw it to the defender. So here's Pratt. He's going to hand the ball to number seven. He's taken down right about the 20 yard line. That's Ryland Park. That's his number one tail. It's a maybe, maybe a yard. They're going to say it was a game of two, but I, <laughs> I don't know how that was two yards. I'll be honest with you, when the ball moved up only half a yard. Uh, but that's what we got, second eight from the 21. This is Williams Pratt. Dixon was on the stop there for West Holmes. Yeah. Boy, he's athletic, big and long. Here's Pratt as he scrambles off the left side. He throws it out there to number 10. He's got his man What there. a pretty pitch and catch. Nice yeah. catch for number 10, Garrett Gunter. And that's going to bring up uh, Leland Smith first down. I'm telling you, Darren, Pratt can sling that ball. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, he, he, he is very high IQ on the football field, no question. So here come the Cougars, first and 10 from 32. This should be the last play of the first quarter. We're at 14 seconds. There's Pratt in the gun. He's got two to the left, two to the right. It was Parker in motion. He's going to keep it himself. He's going to keep the ball, go across the 35 to about the 39-yard line, and that will wrap up the first quarter. After one quarter from Marion High School, Marion Harding High School, the Van Wert Cougars lead the West Holmes Knights 14 to nothing. You're watching high school sports right here. here for the start of the second quarter for Marion Harding High School. And Darren, we talked about offensive firepower, but really it's the defense of Van Wert that's keeping West Holmes out of the end zone. Well, it's, it's their ability to contain the football and control the line of scrimmage right now, and and that's playing to their advantage. You know, West Holmes has taken a couple of shots deep, they have, and right. they just haven't been able to connect. But Van Wert, you know, has got to secure the secondary, you know, a little bit better because I'll tell you, West Holmes is dangerous, and they can strike at will and quick. Here's Aiden Pratt. He's got it knowing the backfield. He's got four receivers to his left and one to the right. He's going to go to the left. He's got his man out there. He brings it across the 40. He gets up to the 45, and that's another Leland Smith first down. That's number 11 for the Cougars, Maddox Crutchfield, as he scampers across the 45-yard line. And that's where they'll start out first and 10. Our first down sponsor is Leland Smith Insurance Services, your first call for all your insurance needs. Up to another, Gunter. Yeah, up to Gunter, number 10. And he's going to pick up a Leland Smith first down as he gets all the way across the 45-yard line. Yeah, this is like an instant replay. <laughs> no, seriously. They're just going back and, yeah. Yeah, they took the football and they went 
three straight plays of 10 plus and, yards and, and yeah and here's the thing Darren they're they're safe plays they're, yes. they're not down the field they're they're across the field in their high percentage passes and they are just executing at an unbelievable level right now well when they're getting execution for, they're getting key blocked here comes Pratt he's gonna bring the ball across the 40 yard line there's he's five gonna, yards he's gonna pick up another Leland Smith first down. They are just moving the chains, Darren. This is an absolute clinic on offensive football. They're putting the football into their athletic, athletes' hands right. and letting them make plays. And the perimeter guys are doing a good job securing their blocks to free them. Now, Pratt running the ball this year has 600. Oh, nice play there by West Holmes. Great play. I, as I started to say, Pratt has 687 yards rushing this year, Darren. Uh, so he is no slouch when it comes to running the ball, and they use him in every kind of formation. Yeah, Mr. Baldridge, Mr. All Ohio Player of the Year, right there, just laid the wood yeah, he to, is a really good to Parker. Here comes Pratt. He's got Parker to his right. He's got trips to the left, a single receiver to the right. Pratt throws the ball across the left side. He's got Crutchfield out there. It's a completion to about the 35 yard line, and that's going to bring up uh, about five yards for another first down. I mean, with the exception, the interception, has he thrown an incomplete pass? I don't think he has. I don't think he has either. That's third and five for the 44, so here come the Cougars. Pratt's going to roll to the right. He throws it across. He's got his man Great out there. Great timing. And Excellent he's got timing. another Leland Smith first down. Garrett Gunter, the six-foot, 185-pound senior with the Those receivers don't drop anything. Well, and they know exactly where they're at on the field. They, they place themselves right along that boundary over there. Nice pitch and catch. Here goes the no-huddle offense again. There's another jet sweep. This is number seven for the Cougars. Ryland Parker, as he takes it to about the 19-yard line. Good job by Jacob game. Giving, Bledsoe, Dodson, they're running, Story, <laughs> they're Jones. Running, they're running the offense so fast that the scoreboard operator can't keep up. Here's Parker. He goes across the 10 to the 5. He gets up to the five yard line. That's another Leland Smith first down. So they are first and goal, Darren, with a chance to go up three scores. Yeah, I, I would be curious to see not only time of possession, the total yards just here in the first half. Unbelievable. Here comes Pratt. He's got Parker to his right. He's got two to the left, a single receiver to his right. Pratt goes, or sorry, Parker goes in motion. Here comes Pratt. He's going to keep it himself. He's going to get to the goal line, and he gets across the – he's another touchdown. Yeah, he's he gets, a man on a mission tonight. He's, un, uh, he's focused. Unbelievable. Aiden Pratt scampers in from five yards out, and he gives the Van Wert Cougars the 20 to nothing lead. Unbelievable, Darren. We are watching. We are watching an offensive firepower show tonight. Aiden Pratt, the Van Wert Cougars. Here's the extra point. Our extra point sponsor is Lee Kinzel Sales and Service on Urban Road in Van Wert. Take a look at our pre-owned specials at LeeKinzel.com. So here comes the snap. It's good. The hole is good. The kick is up, and it is good. So with 9:49 to go until halftime, the Van Wert Cougars lead 21 to nothing. Back to high school football right here, WS. Back here at Marion Harding High School, where the Van Wert Cougars have been winning until halftime, 21 to nothing. Danny Holbrook, Darren Gilbert, and Kelly, you, you expected to see a lot of offensive firepower. I thought we'd see a lot of back and forth. I am just so impressed right now with the with the game plan of Van Wert. They've got West Holmes on their heels, and they just don't have an answer. Well. You know, West Holmes, that big interception with Pratt had their opportunity and got caught with a couple of penalties and, yes, yes, and yes. went backwards and just killed any momentum that they had right there. And Van Wert took the opportunity and took it down and marched in for another seven. That's a big 14-point swing if you think about it. Absolutely. And it little squibber down the middle of the field. They want to keep it away from Williams Dixon, but he's going to get it. He's going to receive it at the 15. He gets outside the numbers for 30. He's at the 35. He gets up to the 40. And he is the Williams Dixon. Now, he got to the 40, partner, but I'll tell you, that's a smart, smart play right there, kicking the ball into the ground. Absolutely. I, I, I love the game plan, trying to keep it away from him. Now, he got it, you're right, but it did take them some time to get him some blocking. And, uh, are, are you impressed right now with the gang tackling of Van Wert? I mean, they are just flying to the They've ball. done it all year. Yeah. I mean, it's it's been one of these where it's not solo tackle. It's one and a bunch of red hats surrounding the football. 
Oh, oh we got a we got a jump. Yep, you knew that was coming. We got right, some, uh, right guard. False start there. I saw Malteric go in motion, and then you saw the right guard jump as he as he probably caught Malteric out of the corner of his eye and thought the ball was going back, but uh, that's going to move them back five yards. Well, and I think the front four, the quickness of Van Wert's front four is presenting some problems right now for West Holmes across that front line. They're big, strong kids. I think you are absolutely right. But the quickness. Here's Wolf the gun. He's got Williams Dixon to his right. He's got two to the left, two to the right. Wolf's going to throw to the left side. He's got his man. Oh, out nice there. play by West. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Number Luke four. Wessel. Luke Wessel just comes Lane up wood to and him. meets Nate Fair head on as soon as he catches. Not a gain. I, it may have been a loss, Darren. That's going to bring up third and, or excuse me, second and 13. So they're going to say it's a two yard gain. Well, and even more so, he had to shed that block to get that stop right there. Great play by number four. Second 13 from the 37. Wolf is in the gun. Williams Dixon to his right, excuse me, to his left. Here's Wolf. He looks across the field. He pump fakes it. He's going to oh, throw down the they middle. Got a streaker, he's got they? it. He's got Alteric down there. He's got him. He's going to take it into the end zone. And yeah, that boy. is a West Holmes touchdown. Sure is. Kyle yeah. Alteric. Yep. He, you, you knew it was going to happen, Darren. He's too good of an athlete. He's too good of a quarterback. You right. knew it was going to happen. And the receivers are very, very quick. And Van Wert bit on that little pump fake right there. And great pitch and catch. Nice finish there by West Holmes. And you saw and you saw the athletic ability of Kyle Malteric, the 6'3", 185-pound receiver, and he just takes it to the house, mm. and that's going to make it 21-6. to So, partner, we're far from over. Absolutely. <laughs> so here comes West Holmes as they'll try to get that Lee Kinsel extra point. Lee Kinsel, the Van 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 look at our pre-owned specials at LeeKinsels.com. You know, if you're a fan of work, you just cannot let West Holmes get comfortable offensively now. There's the snap, hold, and the kick is good. So with 8.57 to go, West Holmes Knights get on the board for the first time tonight. Coops lead 21-7. Back here at Marion Harding High School, the West Holmes Knights get an explosive play from Wolf to Malteric on a big time throw, pitch and catch, and they go into the end zone. And now they're down 21 to seven. We got a game partner. Yep, this is where Van Wert's got to take the football and do what they do best and execute. They've got an answer. You're absolutely right. So they'll catch the ball at the 15, bring it to the 20. Taken down by I think that's Parker, if I'm not mistaken, number seven. It is Parker. Takes over the first yeah. Host of blue and white there on the stop. Season 18 of the Sports Report started Friday night. Join Patrick Hamler for a full full hour of the most comprehensive football coverage around all season long. Fridays at 10 p.m. on WTLW. I think that's an old uh, promo because it says it started Friday night. It's been started for weeks now. <laughs> Here's Aiden Pratt, the Van Wert Cougars. He's got no running back in the backfield with him. He's got four receivers to his left and one single receiver to the right. He's going to throw to the left side. He's got his man out there. And oh, he's got a block. He's job. got across the 30 to almost the 33-yard line. That's number six for the Cougars, Nate Phillips. And, boy, he just he just sprays the ball around. It, it's not one receiver. It's five, six, seven the receivers. He's it's got, amazing. He's got four or five kids with over 30 catches. Here come the Cougars. It's almost like they're clones of one another, so to speak. Pratt's going to keep it himself. That's he's a nice job by number five. Is that uh, Jones? That is. That is number five. Uh, Dixon? Elijah Williams Dixon. Nice six play four, by that young man. 210-pound sophomore. <laughs> Sophomore. Sophomore. Good. He looks like a grown right. man. <laughs> Perkins had a kid last week, too, that was uh, really, really long and athletic. His kid's built just like him. He's going to bring up second and 10 from the 32. Pratt's in the gun. He's going to throw to his left side. He's got his man out there, number six, and that's Nate Phillips. And he's going to be close to a first down. It's going to bring up third down and about four yards. Three yards, excuse me. Yeah, there's no question this open offense that Van Wert's throwing is presenting a challenge for West Holmes defensively. Oh, oh my, goodness. my goodness, number four, Gus Warner, the 5'11", 175-pound junior, read the play, <laughs> and he was he, he came up. Me. Oh my, he could have he could have walked into the end zone, Darren. I'll prove you wrong, young man or old man. 
because he almost took I believe, other than the turnover, the interception, this is the first three and out that they've I, had. I do, too. Yeah. And this is one where they've got to take, you know, secure the football here, get a nice punt. Well, they've got. Not they've give got, up yeah. the big play, partner. They've got Malteric, and they've got uh, Williams-Dixon back deep. Uh, and now it looks like you've got a timeout. timeout. Yeah, West field. Holmes took yep. we got a timeout on the field. We'll take a timeout here on the booth. We're watching high school football. WOSN. Danny Homer, Darren Gilbert from Marion Harding High School. Round three of the Ohio High School State Playoffs. The winner goes on to the state semifinals. Regional title on the line tonight. Let's see if the Cougars get this punt away. They're going to be under heavy pressure. And I'll, Oh, and that's a low line driver. Malteric's going to get it on the bounce. He's got it at the 25. He goes back to the 30, to the 35. And he's going to be taken down right Good about job, the 36-yard line. Right there containing that young man. Yeah, you're right. That could have got ugly because he had his moves and he was taken down. I thought he was going to get loose down. I really did. Well, did you notice since they implemented the new rule with the center now on the punts and the kicks, that's why they're putting their best athlete now underneath snapping that football because the defender cannot touch them. Absolutely. So West Holmes will start out first and 10 from the 37. Darren, all the momentum is West Holmes mm -hmm. right well, now. You can hear it in the, in the stands oh. down below us. And you talk about a crowd, guys. We've got a jam-packed uh, stadium here tonight. Both sides are just jam-packed. Here comes Wolf. He's in the gun. Williams Dixon is back inside him. Wolf throws to the left side. He's got Malteric out there. He gets across the 40. There's a flag down there. Malteric goes across the 50. He's at the 45, to the 40, to the 35. And Darren, they're going to tackle him 15 because I, I think, think it's a face, a face mask. mask. Yep. Yeah, that's what I'm yep. thinking too. There was a face mask. Yep. So Malteric with a big catch and run. Kyle Malteric, the 6'3", 180-pound junior. And that's going to go another 15 yards. And I believe it's going to be a face mask. Let's wait for the call. Personal foul. Yep, it is a face mask. Yes. And it's going against so, you know, and, and you, it, now it's a carbon copy. Right. West Holmes now is, you know, the last, well, they went deep on the initial play, so Van Wert backed up defensively a little bit with their secondary. So now West Holmes is going to go right back to the short game. You saw Malteric when he caught the ball in the flat. You saw his head jerk a little bit on the tackle. You knew it was a face mask. Something up around that right, area. Exactly, exactly. So here comes Wolf in the gun. He's got two to the left, one to the right. First and ten from the 37. Snap is back. Wolf looks. He throws across the right side. This is Williams Dixon at the 20 to the 15. Takes it up to about the 12 yard line. And boy, is he dangerous when he catches that ball. It's going to bring up second and see what they're going to call it here. Second and about four from the 12 yard line. You notice a little mirroring going on? <laughs> yeah, I sure do. Between <laughs> offenses? Yes, you're absolutely now right. Now they're starting to take the football and throw it out in the flat area. And second, fourth, and 12 yard line. This is Wolf. He's got three to the left. He's got Williams Dixon in the slot. And he'll go in motion. They'll hand the ball to Dixon. He goes, he's nice taken down immediately. Yes, and sir. And you want to talk about a defensive play, number Crutch 23, film. Damon McCracken. Oh, McCracken, my Damon apologies. Damon McCracken comes out of his linebacker position and just drags Williams Dixon down. Yeah, he had a big play last week against Perkins coming up, got him a sack on a on a linebacker blitz. Nice play by that young man. Third and four from the 13. And dare I say it, Darren, this is four down territory. Sure it is. If you're in my, asking my opinion, they're going to call it third and five from the 13. Wolf looks over at his head coach. He's waiting on the instructions. He's got Williams Dixon to the left. He's got trips to the left. He's got Malteric on the right side in single coverage. Wolf takes the snap. He's going to give it to Williams Dixon, and he's going to sneak through there. He's going to get into the end zone for a nice touchdown. Sam Williams Dixon takes it in from eight yards out, and he 
cuts the lead to 21-13. That is why he's a Division I recruit. You want to talk about bouncing off tackles, low center of gravity, and finding the end zone? My, oh my goodness. Oh, we got a game, Darren. We yep. got a game. 6.14 to go. The Cougars lead 21-13. On the Loudix Jewelry scoreboard. Loudix Jewelry, your family-owned and operated jewelry for over 70 years. Visit them in Coldwater or Van or online at loudix.com. So here come the Knights trying to get back in this one with the extra point. Snap is back, hold is good, and the kick is up, and it is good. So with 6.14 to go, the Van Wert Cougars continue leading 21-14. Right here. Danny Holbrook, Darren Gilbert from Marion Harding High School, and what was a 21 to nothing game has now turned into a 21-14 shootout. And partner, you are watching the firepower from West Holmes that we've been talking about right. all year. Right, we, we knew coming in what they were capable of doing, and we knew what Van Wert was capable of doing, and it's turning into a shootout, just <laughs> what we expected. If you like, I didn't want to say it because last week I anticipated uh, the same thing, and it turned into a, a defensive struggle. Sure. And it's going to go out of bounds. Well, that's a big break there for Van Wert. <laughs> Excuse me, that is a huge break for Van Wert. Sure is. That'll bring the ball up to the 35-yard line. I don't think they'll make him kick have, have you, Darren. I don't think so. Have you seen Pratt throw the ball deep yet? No, he's just it, it's exactly. It's, it's those five yard outs. Exactly. And he's he's you're right. So maybe they're setting them up. Jumping, that, jumping yeah. that screen right there. Well, we've seen those defensive backs come up to the line of scrimmage and try to pick those two passes off. We talked about mm -hmm. that. One of these times, you're going to see that fake, and he's going to go down the side. Well, he's going to try to he's try he's going to try to get somebody in a slot to match up with a linebacker. Sure. Guarantee it. So here comes Pratt in the gun. He's got trips to his left. He's got a single receiver to, to the right. He's got one in the slot. 6-14 to go. First and 10 from the 35-yard line. This is Pratt. He's going to keep it himself. Throw the ball across the left side. He's got his man out there. And it's going to be a gain of about maybe a yard, a yard and a half. That's number seven, Brylin Parker. That's, ex that's extensively a long handoff there. Yep. Gus Warner, great play defensively, shedding the block. Stepping up, making the quick tackle. Here comes Pratt. He throws to the right side. He's got his man out there, and he's going to juke a little oh, bit. He's nice going to get play. a nice first down. Gunter. Gunter takes it up to the 49-yard line, and a great job. He just stuck that foot in the turf and just moved his men off his left side. Garrett Gunter picks up another Leland Smith first down. Great route running right there. Knew exactly where the sticks were, found it, and got a couple extra yards. Here come the Cougars. Here comes Pratt. He's going to keep it himself. Tries to go around that big offensive line. Gets it to about the 49-yard line. Maybe a gain of two. Uh, just a little bit. Of, a great job by the West Holmes defensive line of staying home and not following off to the left side. They stayed right there in the middle. I think it was 54 and 22 on the stop. Here's Pratt. He looks across the field, throws to the right side. He's got his man out there. That's number 11 on the catch, Maddox Crutchfield. And that'll bring up third and about four yards. Very manageable. You know, you get you get a little bit here. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. They did not take it. Oh, they, uh, they said he did not catch okay. it? Okay. Uh, evidently must have fell incomplete. Because uh, it looked like a complete catch from where we were. We don't have the monitors to look across there. Right. Uh, well, we got a monitor, but it's pretty small. <laughs> third and eight from the 49. Tried to draw them off. Good he job by sure West did. Holmes. He's got discipline trips. wise. He's got trips to the left. He's got a single receiver to the right. He's got Bryland Park, which is his right. Third and eight from the 49. This is Pratt and the gun. He's looking across. He throws across the middle, and he's and it's almost picked off, and that's going to fall. Yeah, they, he got his he got his match he wanted. He got a linebacker on him. This is a huge play, Darren, because Van Wert is looking like they're going to keep the offense out there. If they turn the ball over here, no, they're going to punt it. They're going to punt it. So, my goodness, the, the, the West Holmes defense has really figured mm -hmm. it out. They stepped right it now. up, haven't they? Have they have really stepped it up. And now you've got a punting situation where they're going to have to punt to Kyle Martarek and to Williams Dixon, who are both back deep. So, with 5.13 to go. 
Here's the snap. The punt is back. The punt is up. And it is going Big to punt. be fielded by Maltaric. He's going to let it go. Great punt. A great punt. And it's going to go down about Inside the 8 the yard line. Yeah, so Van Wert secures the ball at about the 8 yard line. Out of town or can't get WSN? WSN is now streaming 24-7 online on Roku and Apple TV. Download our Roku channel and Apple TV app to subscribe. A $100 donation allows you to watch anywhere in the world. Visit app.wsn.tv to sign up. We need that, Darren, when we're out of town. We need that app. Yes, we do. I'll tell you, you get to know people in this booth. Jacob O'Neill, our cameraman, he's 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 right on my shoulder. I, I, it's uh, it's pretty comfy up here with me and Gilly and uh, warm. Jacob O'Neill. <laughs> Crowded but warm. Crowded but warm. All right, here comes Wolf from West Home. He's got the ball. He's looking down the right side. He's throwing it deep. He's got Malteric out there, and it's going to uh -oh. be picked off. Picked Mr. off. Wessel with a big play for Van Wert. Are you kidding me? Luke Wessel picks it off. And another turnover. He had Malteric on the fly pattern, and he was open for a split second, and Luke Wessel closes well, the gap. And I guarantee I do not believe that West Holmes has the stats of the secondary for Van Wert. That's, that, they're the ball hawks in the secondary. Well, they are, they are that's rising his, to the That's challenge. his number five on the year, and I think Cruz got five on the year. I know they had coming in last week three of them with four each. So with 4.54 to go here until halftime, Dan Wirt gets the second turnover from West Holmes, and they got a chance to go up two scores if they can do anything with this offensive set here. This is Pratt, and he's in the gun. He's got trips to the right. He's got two to the left. He's got Parker just off to his left shoulder. He's going to keep it himself as he rolls to the right side. And he's almost, oh, he was hit, but he threw the ball. I don't know what they're going to call there, Darren, because he got hit really hard by number Ooh, 64. I'm just, no, it's 22. 22, you're right. You're I was right. just curious if he's leading with the helmet. That was that was my biggest concern right there. Because he no. laid the wood to him. He did. Hit him hard. They're going to say it was an incomplete pass, which I think is the right call. Oh, it was. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, his, his arm was moving forward. Second 10 from the 48, 447 to go. Dan Darren Gilbert from Marion Harding High School. Round three of the Ohio High School State Playoff. Pratt throws it off to the left. He's got his man out there. He's going to take it across the 45. That's number six for the Cougars, Nate Phillips. We've called his name quite a bit tonight, and he has been Mr. Reliable. Nah, I'm starting to see what they're doing defensively. It appears they're putting their linebacker player of the year, and they're just mirroring Pratt. Of course, you're talking. He's, he's going everywhere he's going. I mean, he's he's got one responsibility. If you watch him, partner on this possession, I know you're calling the play-by-play, sure. -play, but if you watch him. Here's Pratt. He's going to hand the ball to Parker. Parker goes across the 45 and sneaks through. I think he's got it. Yard line. And you are referring to Elijah Baldridge, the All-State oh. linebacker, 6'3", 230 senior. He is an absolute mouth oh, of a man. Oh, and run. <laughs> and run. We, we, Darren, we got a lot of kids on this football field that are going to play at the next level. They're going to play at the next level. I, I promise you that. Nice run there by Parker. Getting just enough to get the sticks to move. He's got a Lee Kinzel first down. So here comes Pratt. He's got Parker to his right side. He's got two to the left, two to the right. First and 10 from the 42. Pratt takes the ball, looks across the left side. He's got his man out there, and it's a completion. It's number three for the Cougars. That's Connor Campbell. That's his first reception tonight. So Connor Campbell, we're, we're, everybody's getting in mm -hmm. the game tonight. Look, if you, if you wanna you want to build a program, and you want to you get lots of kids to come out. Run a spread offense like this. You got seven, eight, nine kids touching the ball. All uh, and, and I'm, all and I'm being totally serious. All, all athletic, yeah. all very similar, you know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Size yeah. and speed. So here come the Cougars. This is second and six from the 38. Parker goes in motion. He's going to catch the ball out to the, about the 40-yard line. Here comes Parker to the 35, and that's going to bring up third and about three yards to go. Darren, you come from a school in Kenton High School that ran a similar offense to this 10, 12, 15 years ago. It was tough to defend. Yeah, exactly. it, was, it was great yes. to watch, but if I'm a coach on the opposite sideline, I'd be pulling my hair out. Absolutely. Especially if you're a defensive coordinator. Absolutely. And you got to have a great quarterback. You guys always had great quarterbacks, and that's exactly what Man works down. And you got to have five guys that want to protect up front. Yep. Here comes Pratt. He's going to keep it himself. And he did not get the first down. 
and that's going to bring up fourth and two from the 35. Darren, I got to believe that with 2.59 to go, Van Wert's going to go for it. I can see Van Wert going for this. And they right are here. absolutely doing it. Fourth yep. and three from the 35. Here come the Cougars. Aiden Pratt's in the gun. He's got two to the right, two to the left. He's got Parker to his left shoulder. He's going to take the ball, looks across, fires to the right side. He's got it out there. Another great, another great pitch and catch. Another Leland Smith first down, and it is just quick. It is just like that. Pitch and catch football. Oh. Leland Smith Insurance Services, your first call for all your insurance needs. Like you said, he's got six or seven guys that run outstanding routes. And then you're right, they run outstanding routes. And they got great hands. 237 to go, 21-14 on the Loudox Jewelry scoreboard. Here comes Pratt. He's going to fake the ball to the left side. He looks to the right. He's got all day back there. Oh, my goodness. Finds a little dump off and still got seven. A little dump off to number 11, Maddox Presford. That almost looked like it was slow motion, did it not, Darren? Well, he's taking what the defense is given. That's a great job by that young man with that high IQ to look the field over, not force it. Clock continues to run. 2.13 to go. Second and three from the 20. Wolf is in the gun. Excuse me, I'm sorry, Pratt is in the gun. Almost let the, the Yeah, that snap. was a great, yeah. that, that's a great play. I know it's a loss, but it's a great play because he he caught that thing with one hand. That could have been a disastrous play right yeah, there. The for snap was off to the left, the, the red right and white. side. Nate Pratt, being a great athlete he is, corralled the ball in to keep it from going into the backfield. And he takes the loss, and now we're at third and four from the 21. You gotta believe if they don't make it here, they're gonna go for it again. You've gotta believe so, unless you want to put it in the hands of the kicker, but that's an awful, that's an awfully long kick. Well, you 38, you look, yeah. 40 yards. And, and you look at the conditions, Darren, the flag behind the goalpost is blowing really, really hard to the right. Okay. So here comes Pratt, he's in the gun. He's got trips to the left, and they're gonna take a timeout. With 121 to go, we'll take our timeout here in the booth. You're watching high school football on WSC. Back here with 121 to go at Marion Harding High School. Cougars lead 21 to 14, and we've got a huge third and four from the 21 yard line. He's got four receivers punched up to the right, and he's got a single receiver to the left and single coverage. Let's see if they don't run this slant pattern here. Pratt's going to throw the right. He's got his man out there for a first down. And he gets across the 15 to almost the 10 yard line. And they'll pick up a Lee Kenzel first down. I'm sorry, a Leland Smith first down. You want to know something interesting? I've yet to see Van Wert run that play. But I know a team last week that ran it was really successful. And that was Perkins. Absolutely. Here they go again. They'll swing it out to the right side. Take it up to about the 10 yard line. They had a kid six foot five, about 215 pounds, named Jaden Rowe. They put him in that position out there and threw him the football, let him go to work. And that's exactly what Van Wert did on that last pass play. It's like Van Wert's going to take a timeout. And, and Darren, you're right. Uh, and, and other schools use it. Everybody steals everything, plays, and, and you watch sure. other schools, and if something works, you're going to use it. And, and right now, Van Wert you know, picking up plays and. The offense right now is just, well, just really good. And their coaches design their offense around their players. Sure. And when you have the athletes that both of these teams do, you can open your game plan up. Absolutely. So with 1.05 to go, the Cougars have second and 10 from the 12 yard line. They're going to take a timeout. They're going to try to figure this out. And West Holmes desperately needs a stop here to keep the momentum going. They've played a really, really good second quarter, Darren. Their defense has really figured it out. Got himself back yeah, into the absolutely, game. Absolutely, absolutely. And you've got athletes like Malteric and Williams Dixon. You're, you're going to be in this game. Do you want to talk about a big momentum swing? If Van Wert can punch this in, favor them at halftime. If they can get a stop for West Holmes, that favors them coming into the second half of You're right because West the, Holmes gets the, the ball final starting 24 the minutes. Oh, quarter. absolutely. So here we go. Second and eight from the 10 yard line. Pratt is in the gun. He's got trips to the left. He's got two to the right. He has no one else in the backfield with him. He's going to take it himself. He's going to run up the middle. He's at the five. Or excuse me, at the 10. To the five. To the four. To the three. To the one. And he's in the end zone. Eight. You know where the credit goes there. <laughs> that goes to Mr.
Mr. Jones, number 55, because he went and found that linebacker and met him head on. Aiden Pratt and takes it in up. from 12 yards out to give the Cougars the 27-14 lead. He put a hat, a hat on that kid and absolutely got Pratt free. And now we await our extra point. Our extra point sponsor is Lee Kinzel on Urban Road. Van Wert, take a look at our pre-owned specials at LeeKinzel.com. So number 23 for the Cougars. This is Damon McCracken as he tries to put the Cougars up by 14. Snap is back. Hold is good. And no, it is no good. It goes off with the right side arm. So let's keep that in mind, Darren, as uh, that could be a huge play down the road. I saw it last week and got down to crunch time and Van Warden went ended up going for two and converted the two. But like you said, that, that point can come back to play a huge part here in the second half. Well, Darren, you made the comment that, that coaches put their kids in positions, and you saw what they did. They spread the offense out. They let Aiden Pratt sure. use his athleticism to get into the end zone. Well, and he let his lineman find the middle linebacker and give the opportunity and to get Pratt free and use his athleticism and found his way to that corner of the end zone. Looking for the perfect gift for an out-of-town sports fan? WSN can now be streamed anywhere in the world, online, on Roku and Apple TV for $100 annual donations. Give the gift of hometown sports for the holidays. Sign up on app.osn.tv or by downloading our Roku and Apple TV apps. Danny Holbrook, Darren Gilbert, Jacob O'Neill all here in the booth together. We are close quarters. It's kind of like a little dorm room except a lot smaller than any dorm room I've ever been in. <laughs> but we are happy to be here. I was thinking more along the lines of a restaurant. <laughs> you know what, though? I've been so excited for this game all day. I'm telling you. <laughs> I have been so excited for this game. I'm excited for all the teams in Northwest Ohio that's advanced this far. We've got some dandies tonight Absolutely. playing in other locations. Good luck to them. Absolutely. So with one minute, 60 seconds exactly to go until halftime, the Cougars have a 27-14 lead. They're going to kick it down the middle of the field. This is Malteric. So he's going to get it at the 10, brings it across the 20, to the 25, to the 30, to the 35, to the 40, and Malteric. And you're going to get another face mask, but I don't think the officials saw it. I'll be honest with you, Darren. He was out of the view of the officials. And the, I didn't see it. Uh, it, it. Yeah, I saw it. I saw Crew was on the tackle, but I did not see the face mask. But apparently, there was one. And well, we've got the West Holmes fans right okay. below us, and they are just living right now. They are just furious. So no, and remember, Carter, guess who gets the ball start That's second right. half? That's right. West dude. Holmes does. This is a big play, big series right here for Van Wert to get a stop here. Here's Wolf. He's got Williams Dixon back there. Wolf looks across. He's got Malteric to the left. And a strike out about the 48-yard line. And Kyle Malteric makes the catch out there. Boy, he is a matchup nightmare, Darren. Six uh, yes, he is. Nice play right there. Getting the ball to the boundary. Stepping out of bounds. Saving the timeout. So that'll bring him 48 seconds to go on the Lavage Jewelry scoreboard. Second and one from the 48. Here comes Wolf in the gun. He's oh, under heavy Brad pressure. Oh, and he, him, he? he looks like he got the reception. Oh, the, oh, ball's the ball's loose. loose. The ball's loose on the field. Oh, Recovered by Van Wert. And we're going to have to see. One official's calling it down, Darren. The head linesman is calling it down. The other official has, has said Van oh. Wert gets the ball. This is going to be a discussion here. I, I can't tell you what the correct call is because it was such a bang bang call. Got rid of the ball. The receiver catches the ball at his shoestrings. I wasn't really sure if he made the reception, but then he did make it, and then he was thrown to the turf, and it looked like the ball, when it came loose, he was already dead. That's why those guys are in the stripes are calling the game tonight. <laughs> Good thing we're not calling it up here. I just, I mean, I would not want to be in that position. You know what I'm saying? It's, Especially in the third round. Absolutely. High level stuff here. So, 37 seconds to go on the Rodgers Jr. scoreboard. Third and four. 49. Big play right now for the Cougars. It's been physical, 
outstanding, but it's also been under Coach Boyle. The front officials have done a great job with it, and the kids have done a super job of just uh, playing within themselves. This is Wolf. He's going to hand the ball to Williams Dixon. He's going to get through the line. He's going to pick up another lead Kinsel first down. That leads the chance to the top of the line. Stop the clock with 31 seconds to go. This is where it may work. You know, you want to play contained in the secondary. Do not let anybody behind you. Here comes Wolf. He's going to roll the right side. He's looking down the right side. He's got his man out there. And it's a reception. Take it to the 24 yard line. That's number one. Seven. Seconds and they're going to spike it down. And that'll go to 17 seconds. Will block the ball. Brings up a second and ten. Smart play by that young man down right there. This is where your band work. You want to keep them in inside and make the clock go. Yeah, nothing to the outside. Nothing You're to the outside right. where they can get out of bounds. Keep them in front of you. Keep them in front. And don't let them behind you. Second to the three yard line. This is Wolf on the gun. He's got Williams Dixon in the slot. He's got Cook to the left and on the right. Wolf's going to look to the right side. He's going to throw the end zone to the right side. He's got Malteric out there. And it's a oh! He had it. Malteric had the ball. And he gets it knocked out. Number four, Wessel. Luke Wessel makes a huge play and knocks the ball out. And the fans here had already thrown the confetti well, in the air. He made the same play last week at Perkins on a on a long bomb down the middle of the field. He got his left hand right in there and broke it up. And right now, Darren, Luke Wessel is playing the game of his mm -hmm. life. You've got to be kidding me. That young man is flat out. Deion Sanders well, out there. And, and, they're, <laughs> and they're down a starter. I mean, they're down a starter in the secondary. 11 seconds to go, third and 10 from the 23. Wolf is in the gun. He's got two to the left and two to the right. He's going to look across the field. He's under heavy pressure. He's going to roll to his right, take it in the middle. He's going to go to the 25. He throws across the field, and it's almost picked oh, off by Luke yes, Wessel. Sir. He was intended target was number six. That was Nate Fair. That's going to bring up fourth and 10 in the biggest play of the half so far. Mm -hmm. You're right, Luke West is playing really, really well tonight in that secondary spot. You gotta believe, Darren, that with four seconds to go, they're gonna, they, try, oh, to they're gonna try a field goal. They're gonna bring out number 11. This is Nick Ginsburg. They're gonna try to tack on three, and this will be about a 41-yard field goal. I think so, Van Wert's taking one here, partner. I think you're right. So you're watching a lot of single coverage down the field with Luke Wessel just really manning up, and he's got a tough matchup assignment with Kyle Malteric, the All-State receiver, and uh, it's it's fun to watch. I mean, you <laughs> sit here, you're looking right now, you're looking at a 41-yard field goal. You know, there's a little breeze out there tonight. Right. I'm sure Van Wert's talking about, hey, let's watch the fake, number one. Number two, let's not get drawn off sides. Number three, let's not rough the kicker. But I got to believe, Darren, and you talk about the fake, I got to believe that if they have confidence in this young man to kick this and they and they have a certain confidence level, they mm. know they're getting the ball back in the second sure, half. Sure, absolutely. So if you can try get to these get three, points. yeah, absolutely. I would absolutely try to get the three You know, points. and Van Wert, you know, Van Wert was in this position last week and they brought the house and got a block and scored a touchdown off of a blocked field goal too. So he's got a scheme defensively to block field goals. I'm sure he's talked about possibly going oh they're gonna go for it oh now. they're gonna go for it they changed their sure. mind and it is fourth and ten with four seconds to go they're not gonna kick the field goal they're gonna go for it on fourth down this is wolf he's in the gun he's got trips to the left he's got williams oh, to the right gonna burn another one and Van gonna burn another one <laughs> absolutely you can't take him home with you use him <laughs> this is an absolute chess match darren so they go into the timeout they're assuming they're gonna kick a field sure. goal here comes West Holmes. They line up to go for it on fourth down, and Van Wert says, not so fast. Well, and you know what he's also doing? He's allowing them to set their offensive formation. Sure. You know, having that extra time out in your back pocket, you can you can adjust your defense. So this is, we've got a classic here, partner, with four seconds to go until halftime. The Van Wert Cougars lead 27-14. to 14. 
They have done an incredible job of slowing down the highest powered offense in the state of Ohio. And for a half. For a half. For a half. You're absolutely right because I promise however, you. West however, Holmes, yeah. West Holmes, you know, is, it's unusual for them to give up 27 sure, in the first half. But that's the, I mean, when you get this far into the tournament, you're, you, you've got great coaches on both teams. Yeah, you're right. West Holmes only averages giving up 12 and a half points a game. Correct. And they've given up 27 here in the half. So here we go, partner, with four seconds to go. Fourth and 10 from the 23. This will be the last play of the first half. Wolf is in the gun. He's got trips to the left. Here he goes looking across the field. He's under pressure. He's going to throw down the middle. He's got his man out there. And Van Wert's going to try to take him down. And they do. Yeah, that's not They're going to take him, him down. You're right. And that is going to end the first half. So kind of a, uh, I, I really thought they would throw to the end zone. I'm kind of perplexed by that play. But hey, Van Wert will take it. And after one half of play, the Van Wert Cougars lead 27 to 14 from Marion Harding High School. You're watching high school football on WOSN. Welcome back for the start of the second half here at Marion Harding High School. Danny Hilbert, Darren Gilbert, and Darren, 27 to 14, Van Wert leads. And we take a look at some of the stats, and Aiden Pratt has just been a surgeon in carving up this defense. He is 25 of 30 for 205 yards and four touchdowns on the ground. Yeah, he came out uh, gangbusters and played really, really well this first two quarters, both with his feet. There's no question him scoring the four touchdowns with his feet makes it a little bit difficult for West Holmes because they had to, their focal point was on the receivers and you know Pratt decided to to take that sure. leadership role and as a senior and and carried him the first half. And for West Holmes, I, I got to apologize to our viewers from West Holmes. I, I called him Kyle Malteric. It's called Kyle Maltrick. Uh, the uh, local crew from West Holmes told me that the good people over good here. This talking really. Yeah. He has three receptions for 102 yards, and they tell us that he's being recruited by a lot of Max. Yeah, he is really you a don't you player. don't think he can stretch the field, huh? <laughs> they said their middle linebackers being recruited from the Max. That it, he was banged up last year and didn't get to play a whole lot. But and then they, you know, you know. What is it, Williams Dixon? I apologize, well, yes, yes, but his, Sam his younger brother, Elijah Williams good, Dixon, good <laughs> night, six foot five, two hundred pounds. He looks like just, a grown man. He's long. He? Yes, yeah. They're just so athletic and they're big up front, and you know, hats off to Van Wert for playing such a great first half, and you know, West Holmes for you know being down early well, and, and making a game. You're right. It, it was twenty-one to nothing. And West Holmes credit, they did a great mm -hmm. job of closing the gap. So uh, we got a lot of football left, partner. Mm -hmm. So yeah. this was far from being over. So well, I guarantee you know you got two smart coaches and coaching staff. It's going to make some halftime adjustments. And you know, if you're West Holmes, you're chomping at the bit to get this football and get your offense back on the field. Our scoreboard sponsor tonight is Lotta to Jewelry. The family owned and operated jewelry for over 70 years. Visit them in Cold Water Bay. Let's see what we do right here, partner. If we're going to kick it deep, we're going <laughs> to I know what I put do. it on the ground. <laughs> I put it on the ground. I wouldn't Absolutely. Give, I would not give those athletes any chance. Got to so. get ahead of steam up. Yep, and that's exactly what they're going to do. They're going to kick it on, and the up man's going to take the ball at the 25. He goes to the 30. He gets to about the 32, the 31 yard line. That's where he'll go down. So West Holmes will start on offense from about the 31 yard line. 27 14. Danny Hilbert, Darren Gilbert from Marion Harding High School. And the snow is not, it's not uh, big snowflakes, but it is coming down a lot harder than it was in the first half. Yes, it is. And it's getting a little cooler. Yeah. <laughs> it's really cold. Briston Wise with the stop there for the Cougars on that kickoff return. So again, this is Mason Wolf in the shotgun. He's got two to the left, two to the right, one in the slot behind him. There goes Williams Dixon in motion. He's going to swing it out to Williams Dixon to the 25. Gets outside the numbers at the 30. He's going to go to about the 35. Pick up a nice gain of about five yards. And if they get that young man going, it could be a long night for the 
the Cougars. Fierce on the stop along with Wetzel appear to be number 23, Mr. McCracken for the Cougars. Yeah, he got ahead of steam up. He got a quick five, didn't he? Here's Williams Dixon again as he goes to the line. Gets about two yards, and that's going to bring up third and about three. And a, a great job by the Cougar defensive line. Number 23 coming in there from his linebacker position. David McCracken, we call his name all the way. Yeah, him and also Steeman. Third and two from the 38, 11-11 to go. And they got the Wildcat formation. They've got Williams Dixon behind center in the gun. He's going to take it himself, run up the middle, and it is going to be close. Uh, it looks like, yeah, I think looks from like where the official marked it, yeah. Looks like the football got enough, didn't it? They're going to give him the first down. Yep, they're going to give know, him. You know, Van Wert was really lucky because Steeman, I think, had an equipment injury or <laughs> an equipment adjustment, yeah. and he ran to the sidelines, and they had to really quick get a substitution in there. So I think he's on the sideline right now with a equipment matter. It's a Leland Smith first down. Leland Smith Insurance Services, your first call for all your insurance needs. So here comes West Holmes with 10.41 to go. They are at the 40-yard line, first and 10. This is Wolf. He hands the ball to Williams Dixon. Goes across the 45 to about the 48 in a really nice spin move. And there you saw the electricity that young man brings. Yeah, they're going to they're gonna go right behind a big offensive lineman to start here in the third quarter and see if they can't choose some yardage up with that All-State back. Here comes Williams Dixon again as he goes across the 50. He's going to pick up a first down. He gets hit hard, but he does pick up another Leland Smith first down. Steeman and Jones on the stop. You think they talked about it a halftime partner? We're going to run it right down their throat because that's what they're doing right now. Yep. Now they want to get physical up front. There's no question. And for the most part, Van Wert has won the, the run. The mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. So here comes Wolf in the gun. He's got Williams Dixon to his left, two to the right, two to the left. He's going to look across the left side. He's got a completion out there to Maltrick. Maltrick goes to about the Somebody got him by the ankles. I think that was Parker. Nice uh, solo tackle there by Parker. So Kyle Maltrick, 6'3", 180-pound junior. He is an absolute speedster. And the folks from the local radio station in the West Holmes area tell us that he's being recruited heavily by a lot of Mac schools, and uh, he'll make his decision next year. So here they go, second and seven from the 45. There goes Maltrick in the motion. They're going to hand the ball to William. No, they fake the hand to Williams Dixon. They'll go to Maltrick out of the three. He gets around his defender, and he's going to be close to a first down. And a nice set of moves by Kyle Maltrick. Just a fair out there for the stop from his defensive end position. Great hustle by that young man. Brings up a third and short, appears. Third and one from the 45. So West Holmes continues to move the ball down. This is exactly the kind oh, of they needed here. Look, in, look who's in the backfield now. <laughs> here we go. Ground and pound right here. They're coming right at you, Van Wert. Williams Dixon gets the ball. He gets the first down. He spins for another additional two yards. And Williams Dixon right now is starting to show you why he is being recruited by every division. Parker coming up, making the tackle for the Cougars. Nice run there by Williams Dixon. First and 10 from the 36. Williams Dixon is off to the left side of Wolf. He's going to take the snap. He's going to look down the right side. He's got Maltrick out there and almost picked Whoa. off. Almost picked off by our guy, number four, Luke Wessel. But Maltrick does a great job, and you saw the strength in Maltrick bringing that ball in. Boy, is he a ball hawker. I mean, he oh is all over that defender. Another step, he'd had an interception right there. Nice pass, pitch and catch, though. Here comes Williams Dixon again. As he's, oh, he's going to be hit down there. Oh, a flag. get a hold yeah, here. I was going to say, the flag was thrown right in the line of scrimmage. That usually indicates a hold. No, they're going to say block. a chop block. And let's see who that's going to be against. That's a big penalty here. That is a big penalty against West Holmes. So obviously, one of those linemen made a chop block against the Van Wert defender. And that's going to bring up second down. That'll take him back 10 yards. First and Jones on the stop there for Did you see who that Cougars? was? Did you see the play at all, Darren? No, it was all I did jumbled not. up there, yeah. I saw the flag come flying in, but I did not see the chop block on who it was or what part of the field it came from. 
So here comes Wolf in the gun. He's got two to the left, two to the right. He's going to look across the field. He's under pressure, throws down the right side. He's got Maltrick out there, and it's going to be well, it's going to be close. Who is it? Wessel is on the defense, and they're going to save Maltrick with the touchdown. The tie goes to the receiver, and that is an absolute stunning play by the West Holm Knights. That could have went either way, Dan. And Wessel's right there on the coverage. Just, a, you know, one of those one-on-one -on -one situations where the ball was wrestled away. You know, I think if Wessel had to do it over again, he'd have just slapped it away. So Kyle Maltrick shows you why he is all state with another touchdown catch. He gets behind Luke Wessel, and Luke Wessel did an outstanding job. He could not have been in better coverage. They both go down, they wrestle for the ball, they give the ball to Maltrick, and that's going to make it 27 to 20, and they're trying to cut this lead to six here with the extra point. Our extra point sponsors, Lee Kinzel, Irvin Road, and Van Wert. Take a look at our pre-owned specials at LeeKinzel.com. Here's the snap. The hold is good, and they can't get it down. And Maltrick's going to try to get around the corner, and he is going to get it in for a two-point conversion. Kyle Maltrick got in. The snap was high. He tried to bring it down. He takes it to the left side for a two-point conversion. Yeah, it turned into a foot race, and he found the pylon. He was being chased by Smith, but had he played by that young man extending the football across that pylon on the far side. So a 7.45 to go in the third quarter. The West Holmes Knights have closed the gap to 27 to 22 right here on WOSN. Back here at Marion Harding High School in a strange turn of events as West Holmes tries the extra point to close the gap to 27 21 Darren the snap was high he tried to bring it down and he decided to run for it and gets the two-point conversion partner we got a five-point game and since the start of this game at 21 to nothing the West Holmes Knights have outscored Van Wert 20 let's see 22 to 6. Yeah it's one of these where onside kick attempt and the ball's loose oh let's see who's got it there's a big scrum we're going to have to see who's got the ball. Both squads are going for the ball, and it was an absolute scrum. Let's see who they're going to call here. They're trying to pull the pile apart. I don't know, Darren. It's going to be a close call, and they're going to say oh, Van the Wert's got, got the ball. It. And that is a gamble, Darren, because yes, now is. you give Van Wert the ball at midfield. So an absolute gamble on the part of West Holmes. Now to be Ian place with the recovery there for the Cougars, but I'll tell you, the ball was loose. I like the call, Darren. Mm -hmm. The momentum is all in West Holmes corner right now. I you love bet. the call. You bet. Now this is where they got to buckle down and get a stop defensively, and Van Wert's got to decide. You know, we've got we've got to get you know Pratt back into the ball game. We've got an absolute yeah, we got an absolute street fight here. So here come the Cougars, Aiden Pratt. And he's got Parker to his left. He's got two to the right, two to the left. 7.40 to go. Pratt's going to hand the ball to Parker. Goes across the 45. Stings back to the other side. Taken down by big number 22. And that is Elijah Baldridge, the All-State linebacker. And he shows you exactly why. Filled that gap, didn't he? Yes, he He did. got in there, filled the gap, and wouldn't let him go. Here comes the Cougars. Yeah, they're, they're going to quick they're snap. They're going to go quick snap. Now they got their, yep, they got their man up there, and they're going to throw a flag, and they're going to say it's a false start. When you look across the sidelines, and number six for the Van Wert Cougars, Nate Phillips was motioning to Aiden Pratt. Hey, I've got nobody on me. He saw he him. Found him he, he did. He slings the ball over, but unfortunately, one of his linemen moved early. See, and that's where the defensive coordinator right now for West Holmes is telling them, got to be ready because Van Wert's going to go quick snap. They go up tempo. That caused West Holmes problems in the first half. And it's a snowy night here as that snow continues to come down. It is really coming down now. Second and 15 from the fourth. Here's the bunch they, set. They've got again. the bunch set on the left side. Aiden Pratt is in the gun. He's got a single receiver to the right. They're going to look across. Pratt rolls to his right. He's under pressure. He's going to throw deep down the right side. He's got a man out there. Oh, my goodness. He had number 10 for the Cougars. That was Garrett Gunter. And it looked like Gunter pushed off the defensive back. That's a, that's a big play right there because if he catches it, 
And this West Holmes crowd is going bonkers right now because their defense is really stiffening up here. And that makes it third and 15 from the 40. You know, that's the pass we were talking about, the deep pass. Yep, you're exactly right. He got him right. in a one-on-one -on -one situation. That's just a great play by that young man. This press is going to get to the left to the right. He's going back. He's under heavy pressure. He's rolling to his right. He's got his man out there. He's just under the closer. And that's going to bring him down. Right now, the back is home in favor of the Knicks. Big number 54 applying the pressure for West Holmes. Corbin Stout, 6'5", 205 pounds. And that defensive line is playing really stout right now. So they've got Maltrick and Williams Dixon back deep. And the Cougars are in punt formation. And they are reeling right now. And all the momentum is in West Holmes sideline. Here's the punt. Snap is back. The kick is up. And it is a wobble, not very high. Well, that almost hit a West Home kid, sure didn't did. it? And it's going to go down to about the 22-yard line. That's where it'll be down, and that's where West Home will be. So, wow, you want to talk about a turn of events now. This is exactly. You look at the first half, Darren, and Van Wert had all the momentum, mm -hmm. and now it's completely switched sides. Well, when you come out and you punch them, you, you punch them in the mouth, so to speak, and get that touchdown and get the get the two-point conversion, now you make it. You score right here, regardless you make the extra point. And here's the interesting thing. Yeah, here's the interesting thing. So West Holmes comes back after the touchdown. They try the onside kick, but they don't get it. But their kids don't panic. They just stiffen up and play sure. fantastic defense. They've been there. Both these teams have been there. So here's Wolf in the gun. He's got Maltrick in motion. He's going to swing it out to Maltrick to the left side. And he's going to be taken down. Well, no, he's going to get away. And he'll be taken down for a gain of maybe two yards. It looked like he was going to be taken down behind the line of scrimmage. And then he gets tackled for about a two-yard gain. And now the Van Wert coaches are on the field because they say the ball was fumbled. And the officials, the Van Wert kids are imploring the officials to make the call. And now the officials are getting together. Uh, Gilly, is there a chance well, they're going to give the ball to Van Wert? I'm, I'm not so sure if it's that. Or there was an exit. Oh, they did give they him the did, football. They gave the okay. ball to Van Wert, and I did not see a fumble, but they're okay. saying there was a fumble well, on the I, field. I was watching the, the, the extracurricular activity that was going on, you know, with, with Aiden Pratt. I mean, they were literally laying on him and would not let him up off the field. So That is a huge call, Darren, a huge call. 6.18 to go. That is the third turnover from Millersburg West Holmes. This is one of your van work. You've got to get points. Yeah, you've got to capitalize here. So here comes Aiden Pratt in the gun. He's got trips to his left all spread out. He's got two to the right. He's got the ball. He's going to keep it himself. He's going to go across the 25. Great cut back. He's going to get to the 15 in a fantastic run of about nine yards or are they going to say it was a 10 yard gain and move the sticks no they're going to say that it's second and one for a gain of about nine went behind the left guard and then cut off his backside got as much as he could nice play by pratt here's parker he gets the ball sweeps across the right and he's going to pick up another leland smith first down well, he's not even down. Not even down yet. He looked like he was down, and I temporarily called that one, but it is a first down. So they'll move the chains there. And that'll make it first. And is that for the, let's see. Looks like to be about the 13. About the 13. So they can pick up another first down unless they can get a touchdown here. So that clock continues to run. Darren, this is a huge drive mm -hmm. for the Cougars. Sure is. They got, they've got to get points. Here's Pratt in the gun, 5.34 to go. Snow is falling in bunches right now. Here comes Pratt. He's going to take it to the right side. He cuts back to the middle. He gets to about the five-yard line, and that's where he'll be taken down. Here goes the Cougars. They're in a hurry-up offense. Aiden Pratt takes it to about the five-yard line. Showing some great patience, Sidney, waiting and waiting he for his sure offensive is. line to, and the play to develop. Nice job up front. Pratt's going to keep it himself. He's going to row the right side. He looks he's good inside. It. He's got a touchdown! Another Van Wert Cougar touchdown. Aiden Pratt with touchdown number five on the night. Are you kidding me? And he helps the Cougars build that lead back up on the West Holmes turnover. Now, he doesn't get into the end zone five times tonight, tonight without the help of his five guys up front, My opening goodness. the holes up for him. Great job by that offensive line. Makes it 33-22 with 5.06 to go as the snow continues to fall. And now we await the Lee Kinzel extra point. Lee Kinzel on Irvin Road in Van Wert. Take a look at our pre-owned specials at LeeKinzel.com. So here's the snap the hold is good the kick is up and it is 
good. He sneaked that one in, did he? he sure okay, did. Okay, good, With good. With 5.06 to go from a snowy Marion Harding High School, the Van Wert Cougars have taken the 34-22 lead. You're watching high school football, WOSN. Welcome back to Marion High School. Marion Hardy, excuse me, with 5.06 to go. The Van Wert Cougars have extended their lead to 34-22, and they do it all on the legs of Aiden Pratt, who goes into the end zone for his fifth time tonight, Gilly, and he is absolutely leading this team. Yeah, he's, uh, it's, it's definitely a Pratt show tonight with his legs. Early on it was his arm now, well now he's getting it done with his legs. Well, we talked what about, a huge yeah. turnover. You know, first, yeah, that West down. Holmes just had right there. And to see Van Wert come back and, you know, after giving up that touchdown, that was huge for them to get points on the board. Here's Williams Dixon as he gets the ball at about the 18. He's going to try to get outside of the numbers at the 30. And Van Wert's going to corral him and push him out of bounds at about the 32 yard line. That's where West Holmes will take over. And you look at his stats in the first half, Darren. We talked about that earlier, 25 of 30. And he was, you know, just short uh, passes to the boundaries, nothing down the field, but his receivers were making catches. And then when it came to crunch time, he was using his legs to get yep, in the end zone. Absolutely. Good job right there by Wise, staying in his lane on that kickoff return, you know, forcing Mr. Then, Williams Dixon out of bounds. This whole game has been nothing but momentum shifts. Mm -hmm. West Holmes had all the momentum here at the first start of this third quarter. So here comes Wolf. He's got Maltrick in the uh, motion. Ooh. You're going to give it to Williams Dixon. He's going to be taken down immediately, and he was hit hard he, by the Aiden first Pratt, defensive line. Aiden Pratt first. Absolutely. Great catch here by that young man quarterback, and that almost went over his head. It's almost turned into a Lambo field. <laughs> the frozen the tundra. <laughs> it, is it is cold. It is coming down. It is. It? Yeah. And, you look out there at McCracken, he's got them short sleeves on. He's just, you know, Easy. you just tell he loves this kind mm -hmm. of weather. Oh, my Good goodness. Good for him. <laughs> Damon McCracken, linebacker extraordinaire. Here's Wolf in the gun. He looks across the field. He's going to throw it down the middle deep, and he's got Williams Dixon out there, and he makes the catch, a spectacular catch by Williams Dixon, who catches the ball as he's falling yeah, he, down. Uh, he gave his body up right there, because I'm telling you, Mr. Wessel couldn't believe he caught it. You know, that doesn't happen without great pass protection up front. Oh, my goodness. The big lineman right there just, they, they made a great offensive protection uh, playing right there and give him time to throw the football. Here's Mason Wolf again as he's looking across the middle. He's going to keep it himself. Goes across the 40-yard line, and he'll be taken down by a host of Cougars. Got a couple by there, number 54, he? Logan Dotson on the tackle. Number 15, Jones. Pratt. Yep, Jones in there, McCracken in there. That was a fantastic. Mason Wolf put the ball the only place he could put it for Williams Dixon. Well, he, well, that was a great he's pass. laying his body out there with an opportunity of a defensive back coming up there and laying the wood. Just a great effort uh, catching that football. They thought that the Van Wert Cougar defensive lineman may have jumped there, but they did not snap the ball. The fans here were a little upset. But I don't think he crossed <laughs> he the did neutral not. zone. He did not cross the neutral zone. Well, they're going to give it to Williams Dixon as he goes across the 35. Oh. My goodness, he's running hard. And he met that linebacker head on, and they had a collision. And it looks like that was number six for the Cougars, uh, Nate Phillips. And boy, they hit hard. Yeah, he got up ahead of steam right there and went north and south. There was no east-west there. No, it was, it was right to the goal post direction. And they're going to go wildcat again on third and one as they've got – Williams Dixon back in the shotgun position. And he'll receive the snap, and you got to believe he's going to run to the to the try to get the first down with third and one, and he does. He goes right up the middle and goes to the left. He's got a little hole there. Nice he's going to pick up another Leland Smith first now, down. You know, I'm saying nice play. I'm giving Van Ward some credit sure, there sure. They, they because they just tackled a kid that when he gets free and gets ahead of steam underneath him, he can create a lot on his own, but. I think that was Nate Phillips who come up there and made the big stop. So they're doing the Wildcat formation again. This is Williams Dixon as he gets high snap. He's going to try to go up the middle. And a nice job of the Manwork defense of corralling him. And that's number 23 for the Cougars again. Damon McCracken, he's been all over the place tonight. Yeah, him just and as, Steven. Yeah, just as much as Luke Wessel was in the first half, Damon McCracken has really led the lead here for the Manwork defense in the second half. 
2.05 to go. Clock continues to run. Danny Holbrook, Darren Gilbert from Marion Harding High School. And it looks like a winter wonderland. The snow is really coming down now. I'll tell you, they've made a couple great plays because that ball's coming really close to going over their head. Wolf pass out to the flat. There's Walter. He's going to take him down about to the 20 yard line. And that is going to be another first down as the chains will move. Wessel on the stop. 45 to go. You know West Holmes would like to get it in the end zone before the quarter break. Here's Wolf in the gun. He'll give it, give it to Williams Dixon. Goes across the 15. Gets up to about the 12 yard line. That's where he'll be taken down. He appears to be steaming on the stop along with Pratt. Yeah, they're not throwing the football nearly as much um, as they did in the first half. Yeah, they're effective when they do both. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so here come the Knights. Mason Wolf will be in the gun. He's got William Dixon off to his right in the backfield. He's got Maltrick on the right side in single coverage. He's out there guarded by Luke Wessel. And that's been a matchup all night. This is Wolf. He's going to keep it himself. He's going to be close to another first down. Third down. So a big third down play here with 54 seconds to go as the clock continues to run and the snow continues to fall. First McCracken and I believe uh, number 11 appeared to be in there, Crutchfield. Third and two from the third, from, excuse me, from the eight yard line. This is, what they're going to go wildcat package again. This is Williams Dixon. He's going to take the ball, try to go up the middle, and he's going to pick up a first down, or he's going to be real close to it. I believe he's got the first down. Let's see if they're going to say it's another Leland Smith first down. So that's going to bring up first and goal from the four-yard line. And they're in the hurry-up offense, the Wildcat offense. This is Williams Dixon. He's back behind center. He's going to take it himself. He's going to go up the middle. He's going to try to get in the end, and he's in the end zone. Sam Williams Dixon takes it into the end zone and that cuts the lead for the Van Wert Cougars over the West Holmes Knights 34 28. Yeah, they're seeing something right now because they're attacking the middle of Van Wert's right. defense. Yeah. And, you know, we got Van Wert coaches, or excuse me, uh, West Holmes coaches on the other side of us, on the other side of West Holmes broadcasting. And they're seeing something right now because they're just putting a lead blocker in there and opening up huge holes. Here's another Lee Kinzel extra point. Snap is back, hold is good, the kick is up, and it is good. So with 19 seconds to go until the fourth quarter starts, Van Wert Cougars lead 34 to 29 right here. been in this position where they've been behind in the fourth quarter but uh if you're west holmes coaches you got to be pleased with them coming right down there and scoring my research working getting ready for this game is well they didn't show panic right during that last possession to get the the touchdown well they are just, it's its one of the most explosive offenses I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. I, I'm telling you, they've got playmakers everywhere. And, and to Van Wert's credit, they're just staying with them stride for stride. Well, you can guarantee West Holmes is hoping for a turnover here. So here comes Pratt in the gun with 12 seconds to go. He's got trips to the left. He's got two receivers to the right. He's going to keep it himself. And he is going to be taken down. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, there's, there's the mirror right there. He was mirroring him, and guess who met him? We end the third quarter. So after three quarters of play from Marion Hiring High School in a regional semifinal showdown, the Van Wert Cougars lead 34 to 29. When we come back, we'll have the exciting conclusion right here. start of the fourth quarter. Gilly, it's, it's going to be one of those games that we say this so often, the team with the ball last wins, but that could be the case in this game. Well, I, think, 
think it's going to come down to the team that makes the best decisions. You I know? think, yes, you're right. And, and, and play ball control and not force things and take what's given to them. So here's Pratt again. He's got trips to the left. He's got two to the right. 12 minutes to go to start of the fourth quarter. Pratt's going to keep it himself. He's going to try to get up the middle. He's going to pick up a gain of maybe three yards. So in two rushes here back to back, Pratt's gained five yards. That's going to bring up the third and five. This is uh, so far close to the first down. I don't think he got it. He's about a yard short. Number three come up, and I mean, just took the legs right out from underneath. It's like Zollers. Yes. You're right. And Van Wert has decided they're going to kick this ball away. And if you noticed, Gilly, when Van Wert's punted tonight, West Holmes has come really close mm -hmm. to that ball. And it wouldn't surprise me. And look, there's lining them up. They're going to send the house to try to get a block here. Let's see what happens. Well, when you got the two guys back there, the speedsters that can return the football, why not? Absolutely. So here comes Van Wert trying to get out of this hole. And they're going to punt the ball. And it's a low snap, and he drops it. And he's going to pick it up, and he's going to try to run. He's going to try to pick the first down. He's at the first down. It. And an unbelievable play. The snap was low, but the punter picks it up and picks up the first down. I believe that was Stein. Unbelievable. The plays we are seeing tonight, Darren, are unbelievable. Well, we saw that happen on a two-point conversion for West Holmes. That botch. Look, and if you're watching at home, that was not a planned uh, no. fake. He dropped the ball and had no choice but to run to the left side, and he picks up a huge first down yeah, for the Yeah, he just outran West Holmes to the first down sticks. Here's Pratt. He's going to hand the ball to Parker. Goes up the left side. He's going to get uh, maybe a yard there. He's going to take him down. And that is not Parker. That's I'm McCracken, sorry. That's isn't McCracken, isn't it? McCracken. Damon McCracken trying to pick up some tough yards. That'll bring up second and about nine from the 45-yard line. I'm trying to see where Parker is. Yeah, I was going to say he's not on the field I don't think right he's now. on the field right now. They'll sling it out to the left side, and they got a reception out there. And he's going to pick up close, and he's going to get a first down, number six Phillips. for the Cougars, Nate Phillips, with got a, a great on the play. pitch and catch. Let's see what there was in the hold out there blocking on that play. And if that is a hold, that is a huge call against Van Wert. Let's see what they're going to call here. Could be a spot foul. It is a hold. Yes, it's a hold. Boy, that's a big play. It sure is. That is a big play. Well, the nice luxury you had, you got a kid that's been, you know, very successful throwing the football tonight. It's going to bring up second and 17 from the 45. Aiden Pratt's in the gun. He's got McCracken off to his right side. He's got single receiver to the left, and he's got trips to the right. They are in a hole right now at second and 17 from the 36-yard line. That uh, West Holmes defense is playing super aggressive and really putting the pressure on Pratt right now. Van Wert's trying to see what formation West Holmes is in. He's surprised. He looks across the field. He's under heavy pressure. He's going to the right. He's got his man out oh there. My, and he oh, misses he him. And he number dropped. 10, that's Garrett Gunter as he was open. And as he's falling down, trying to keep his feet in bounds, he drops the ball. That's going to bring up a big third down. And did you see where the ball was thrown? It was thrown to the outside. It was thrown low enough. And it was thrown right at the first down marker. Tough break for the Cougars. A huge third down. A third and 17 from the 36 yard line. I gotta believe if they get close to the first down marker, Darren, across midfield, would they go for it? I'm not real sure. We'll have to wait and see. And here goes Pratt. He's got McCracken in motion. He's looking across the field. He's gonna throw oh, deep down the middle. And he's got his guy out he there. Sure does. And, oh, oh and he up. misses the ball. He had him. He had Nate Phillips out there, and he catches the ball, and it gets knocked out of his bread basket and falls to the turf. And Van Wert's gonna have to give the ball away. Well, I, I, he had him beat in the secondary. I think it was the exceptional speed that he was able to run the football down, just get enough confusion there on 
uh, who was that, Phillips? Phillips, yeah, Nate Phillips. For him to not be able to bring that in. So man works in pump formation. They've got Maltry back deep and Williams Dixon. So two speedsters back there. They want to keep the ball away from him. There's the kick. There's the snap. The kick is up, and it is a squibbler down the sideline. And it'll go out of bounds right around the 35, 36 yard line. That's where West Holmes will take over with 9 25. This could be the defining drive of the game right now. Yeah, Mr. Steeman right there, that's a nice punt there. Yeah, it doesn't look like it yardage wise. However, you know, you're keeping the football out of the two dangerous returnees. So West Holmes has found some success running the ball here in the second half behind that big offensive line. And they have really played well in the trenches, which is a reversal of the first half. Van Wert owned the middle of that field. And right now, West Holmes is stretching their muscle. And let's see if they continue to keep it on the ground. This is Wolf in the gun. He's got Williams Dixon to his left side. They're going to hand the ball to Williams Dixon. Oh, he's nice play be, by oh, Pratt. Oh, my goodness. Pratt comes in and submarines him, grabs him legs, and he's going to take a loss of a yard. That's going to bring up second and 11 from the 46 yard line. Big play by that senior right defensive end. Using the swim move on that left tackle, getting to the inside. Here's Wolf on the gun. He's got Williams Dixon to his left side. He's got trips to the left. He's got a single receiver to the right. He's going to roll off to the left side. He's going to fire out there. And he's got Maltrick up there. He's going to pick up another first down. So Kyle Maltrick, anytime they need a big catch, he finds some green ground out there. He gets space between him and the defensive line. Pratt was trying to time it up to get his hands up on the throw. Just couldn't do so. The offensive line did a really good job maintaining contact with him on the block. 8.40 to go. Here come the A lot Knights. of time left for both ball clubs. Wolf's calling out the play. He's going to change it here at the line of scrimmage. Williams Dixon to the right. He's going to hand the ball to Dixon as he goes to the line of scrimmage. He's going to be taken down for a gain of maybe a yard with that. What a great job by number five, Gage Steve. Sure was. Makes a nice tackle. Pratt did a good job slowing him up. McCracken coming in for the stop. Crutchfield also. The linebackers have played very well for Van Wert tonight. And you see a lot of kids right now with their hands on their hip. They're getting a little tired out there. As both the ball clubs. Yeah, both ball clubs. The physicality of this game is starting to take a toll. Here's Wolf in the gun. Trips to the right. He's got Williams Dixon in the slot. He's got Maltrick to the left. He's under heavy pressure. There he's trying to Pratt. scramble around. He goes to the middle of the field, and he's going to pick up a nice gain of six yards, which started out to be a loss of yardage, and he picks up six, seven yards. I'll tell you what, what a clean play game by both ball clubs. Oh, absolutely. Helping one another off the, off the piles. It's going to bring up third and four, and you got to believe from where the ball is at the 39-yard line. Two down territory. This is two down territory. Sure it is. But with a back like Williams Dixon, <laughs> you give him the ball on a oh, quick pitch. Oh, I, I, I give it to him two times. I give it to him two times. Or do you, you know, do you just give him the ball on the handoff? They, they're seeing something. Yeah. I, I try to get him out on the, in the boundary there. Yeah, the, th they're so seeing quick. something. It's quick pitch. Yeah. See, nope, they're going to go right underneath. Right in the middle, and he's going to pick up the first down. Oh, he, yeah, he's close. Did he get it? Yeah, the official's okay. marking it as a first down. Okay. That'll be another is at seven minutes to go until the end of this one. Van Wert continues to lead 34-29. We are in a tight contest here, and it's amazing that West Holmes has three turnovers tonight. Van Wert has one, and here we are with West Holmes, a chance to take the lead late in the game. Here's Wolf. He gets the snap. He throws to the right side. He's got his man out there. That's Maltrick, and it's a nice gain of about eight yards. Cracking and... Parker on the stop. You know, I was going to say, a lot of time left on the clock. If you're West Holmes and you do score, <laughs> you know, you give Van Wert five minutes, they're going to get down and put themselves in a position to score. 6.20 to go on the clock. Van Wert, Van Gilbert from Marion Harding High School. A fantastic regional semifinal game. Everything we ask for in both these teams. Here's Williams Dixon as he goes up the middle. He's going to take a big hit. He is stuffed with the line of scrimmage. And that's going to bring up another third down play here. It's going to be about third and three for the 28 yard line. 
Appeared to be McCracken on the stop. Again, two down territory, you gotta believe for West Holmes. Third, they're gonna call it third and two for the 27. Wolf is in the gun. He has no back in the backfield with him. He's got trips to the left and two to the right. I wonder if he's gonna keep it himself here. He's gonna look to throw. He's back in the back. He got his man out there. He's got Maltry. He's at the 20. He's at the 10 to the five. He's heading down to the middle of the field. And he's gonna take it near the goal line. And he gets to the goal line. Wow, that was real close to being in. Real close. Yeah, they got the mismatch they wanted. Like Van Wert wants to do, they want to get a slot guy on a linebacker, and that's what happened right there. They got an athlete on the linebacker, and there was nothing Van Wert could do. Here's Williams Dixon in the Wildcat. He's going to take it in, and he goes into the end zone, and he gives West Holmes their first lead of the night. Unbelievable drive. The West Holmes Knights have taken the 35-34 lead with 5-11 to go here. My goodness. Now let's see if they kick it or they go for two. Uh, you got to go you for gotta, two here. Yeah, uh, the extra yeah. point does you no good. Right. Yeah. So West Holmes is going to go for two. As I said to Gilly, the extra point does you no good. No. It only puts you up two. Yeah, what's time left on the clock? I can't yeah. see it. 5-11 to That's go. That's a lot of time to give Van Wert the football. Here's Wolf as he rolls to the right. He's under heavy pressure. He goes back to the left, and he's going to be, oh, he was almost taken down, but he gets away, and he'll be taken down, and no extra point there. So with 5-11 to go, the West Holmes Knights have taken the 35-34 lead right here. Wilson. Welcome back to Marion Harding High School, where with five minutes and 11 seconds to go in the fourth quarter, the Millersburg West Home Knights have taken the 35-34 lead. Van Wert's going to get the ball back, Darren. you got to believe that they need a 10-12 play drive to milk a little bit of the clock. You don't want to give Millersburg West Holmes the ball. you got to score, though. Yeah, absolutely. You know, you've, got, you've got to find a way to get it across the end line. And I, I know what you're saying, but their first priority. Absolutely. They got to find the end zone. So here's a deep kick, and this is Parker. And he's going to get it at about the five yard line. He'll go across the 10 to the 15 to the 20. And he'll go to about the 22 yard line. And that's where Aiden Pratt and the Cougars are trying to extend this drive and win this football game with 5.06 to go. Do we know, Gilly, yet who the winner of this game will play? Is it Cleveland Glenville? Is that. It'd be, it'd it, it, it's going to be Glenville. It's, be it's, Glenville. A, it's the same region. Yeah. So the winner of this game will play Cleveland Glenville. Here we go. 5 6 to go. First and 10 from the 20 yard line. Aiden Pratt, the Cougars. He's going to let him go to work, aren't they? Absolutely. He's got trips to his right. He's going to swing it out to the right. He's got his man out there at the 20, to the 23, to the 25. He gets loose a little, out to the 32-yard line. Big so run there nice. by that young man, second effort. Nice pickup by Maddox Crutchfield as he goes for about 11 yards, and they are continuing to work the boundaries, Darren. Nothing over the middle. They're going to keep working those boundaries. Well, West Holmes did a really good job covering that. They just had a couple missed tackles. Here's Pratt as he slings it out to the right side, to the left side, and he's going to pick up another Another Leland Smith first down. So here come the Cougars right back at you, and buddy. And this is what they do. They, they chunk yards, six and eight at a pop, and they want to go up-tempo. The they're not letting West Holmes get set defensively, if you notice. No, they are not. And that's going to be another reception for a gain of about four yards to about the 47-yard line. And that's going to bring up a second. And let's call it four. Yeah, he's going quick set. I mean, West Holmes is not getting set defensively. Here comes Pratt as he rolls to the left. He's got his man out there. There he it's is. A, it's a connection, and it's another Leland Smith first down and he's got number 10 Garrett Gunner on the right sideline that's another first down you know and he, he might force West Holmes into taking a timeout here if they kept going up, up tempo and getting huge yardage on each play here comes Pratt the gun he's got Parker off to his left he's gonna fake the ball he's gonna hand the ball to Parker Parker cuts it up to about the 40 good job four right yard there. line Great job by number 22 for the Knights. That's Elijah Dalton. Yeah, the also, also the sophomore, Williams Dixon, on the end position. 
Robert Pratt's going to roll off to his left. He's got his man out there in the flat and on the left side, and a nice pitch and catch, oh, and he gets away. Oh, he he gets away. up to across the he got away. He's going to take it into the end zone. It's Big a Cougar play. touchdown. Are you kidding Big me? play by Nate Phillips right there, <laughs> breaking two tackles. Nate Phillips catches the ball on the left side. He goes up to the boundary. He takes on two tacklers, oh. and he takes it into the end zone for a Cougar touchdown. Unbelievable effort by that young man. Broke the first tackle and just tried to find his way to the end zone and basically ran over a second one to get to Pater. <laughs> so with 3.54 to go, the Van Wert Cougars have taken the 40-35 lead and they're gonna try to get another Lee Kinzel extra point here. Let's see what they're gonna, or they're gonna go for two. I think, get Darren there, I think they're gonna go for two. They are gonna go for two. They're gonna try to extend this lead to 42-35. So here's Pratt in the gun. He's got Parker to his right. They're going to hand it. Pratt's going to go up the middle, and he's not going to make it. Or is he? Let's see what they call. That is a huge they still got to go, though, partner. 3.54. You still got to march at the full length of the field. So with 3.54 to go, we're going to step aside and take a break. You're watching high school football. Back here at Marion Hardy High School with 3.54 to go, Gilly. And it's back and forth, and Van Wert scores again. They missed the two-point conversion. Aiden Pratt is stopped short from another touchdown. Uh, but the Cougars have a five-point lead here as the clock is What an awesome down. game to watch, oh. you know. And normally we're, we've got some space here, but we have WKLM beside us, and they're, they're just... Amazed we're all about the here. way the game is, yeah. <laughs> well, look, this is going to be one of those games, Gilly, where everybody on both teams will remember it for the rest yeah, of their absolutely. lives. Absolutely. I mean, it's it's an instant classic. It's and you called it. It's it's respect on both sides mm -hmm. of the ball and just a great game. Very clean played game by both ball clubs. Very well coached. So Van Wert's going to kick off deep to Maltrick and to Williams Dixon, and you give those two any kind of space, they're going to try to kick it kick it down the middle. Uh, oh, here's Maltrick he as he's going to get the ball, and he bobbles the ball at the five-yard line, picks it up, and oh my goodness, he is going to be taken down it's at about, about the 14. 14. And you couldn't have had a better scenario for Van Wert. Right. And when we kicked it to Maltrick, I thought, oh my goodness, he's going to take it. You know, there's a chance well, he can he go. It? Absolutely. So 3.47 to go in the fourth quarter. The Van Wert Cougars lead 40 to 35. Well, and the guys next door just said, just, you know, made a great point. The field is getting wet. Yeah. And look at what's on Ball's the line getting here. getting slippery. The West Holmes Knights, 12 and 0, undefeated. Yep. Have had 12 running clocks this year. Have been a dominant force of offensive football in the state of Ohio. And Van Wert taking them to the limit here with 3.47 to go. 40 to 35. Here comes Wolf oh, in they the got, gun. They got Williams Dixon one on one. He's coming this way now. They're gonna put him back in the backfield. They're gonna hand the ball to Williams Dixon. He's gonna go up the middle, and that Van Wert job by Van Wert interior. Great job, and that's gonna be McCracken. about a yard. <laughs> McCracken comes up and hits yes, him sir. hard. Yes, sir. It's gonna be about a gain of about maybe a yard, maybe two. Him and Jones. Up. Just an amazing job by those linebackers. Yeah, this is where you want to milk some of the clock if you're Van Wert. Put them in third down situations, and make the quarterback throw the football. 322 to go, second and eight from the 16-yard line. Wolf is in the gun. He's got Williams Dixon in the slot. He's got a single receiver in Maltrick out to the right side. And let's see what. Got a timeout? Yep. Looks I'm like uh, use one. West Holmes is going to take a timeout. They'll take a timeout there. We're going to take a timeout here in the booth with 313 to go. Van Wert leads 40-35. Back here with 3.13 to go, and it'll go second and eight from the 16-yard line. Van Wert has got West Holmes pinned deep in their own territory with 3.13 to go. Let's see what the Knights can do to get out of this situation. Wolf is in the gun. He's got Williams Dixon off to his left. Wolf looks across the field. He's under heavy pressure. He's going to step up in the pocket. He's still under heavy pressure, and he's going to be taken down by a host of Van That's Wert. A big play. That's a big play for Van Wert, putting him in third and about six. Yeah, it's going to be third and six, and that is a huge play for the Cougars with 2.56 to play, and the clock continues to run, and they have got him back deep in their own territory. 
The last thing you want to do here, Gilly. They've got them in two down territory right now. If they can get a stop here, if you're the Cougars, what you don't want to do is, you know, keep, you know, keep the ball in front of you. Don't let the ball get the, the, the man get behind the defender. And they are playing really far off Maltry. You just wonder if they're going to swing it out really quick to him. As look at that defender is way off of him. They're going to hand the ball to Williams Dixon, and he gets through the line, but I don't He's think he short. got it. He is really short, and it's going to bring up fourth down, Gilly, and the clock continues to run. It's going to be fourth and about four yards. Yeah, and you're going to give it to your best ball player. And Van Wert has been very successful the last couple minutes of taking away the middle of the field, especially those front four and the two linebackers. Here we go, Gilly. Yeah, play of the we're game under, right here. We're under two minutes, and it's fourth and four from the 20-yard line. If Van Wert can stop him here, that could be the game with 152 to go. Wolf is in the gun. He has no back back behind him. There goes Maltrick in motion. He gets the snap. He looks across the middle. He flings it across the middle, and he's got a man out there, and he's got a first down. No, oh, it he is, dropped, no, he dropped it. He dropped it, and that's going to give the ball back to the Cougars. Number six, that was Nate there, and I thought he caught the ball, but he must have dropped it as he went down towards the turf. Not quite sure who the defender was on the backside of the receiver there, but uh, I don't know if it took away the opportunity for him to secure the football or not, but that's a tough break for that young man. Now let's see what Van Wert does. Now remember, West Holmes has two Correct. left. You got, you got to think that West Holmes right now is is going to put some pressure on Pratt and also use those timeouts. Well, you're going to use those two timeouts right on these first Correct. two plays. Correct, absolutely. It, because you're hoping to get a three and out right here. Absolutely, putting him in a situation where he's got to throw the football on third down. So here's, here's Pratt. Keep the ball himself, go off to the right side, up the middle. And you're right, they are going to force Wes Holmes to use those timeouts. And that's a gain of about maybe, maybe two yards. You know, if I'm a betting man, Danny, he is not going to throw, or he's not going to put the football on the turf. That senior is going to treat that thing like a piece of gold. And there's nobody in this stadium going to take it from number 15. 34 to go, Wes Holmes will take the first of two timeouts they have. And we talked a little bit earlier, Gilly, both these teams trying to get to that matchup with legendary coach Ted Ginn and the Glenville Tar Blooders. And uh, you, you got to believe that either team with the athletes they have have a, have a fighting chance. Well, and that's what we were talking about between breaks here with, with uh, the gentleman next to me. You know, the, the winner of this game is going to present some challenges sure. for Glenville. Sure. You know, you've got tons of athletes on the field right now. You've got two solid quarterbacks that are capable of throwing the football. You've got receivers <laughs> that are really athletic. You've got defenders on the on the the, at the linebacker spot that are really good, and you've got some interior linemen that are really good. So it's going to be a challenge for Glenville. 134 to go, second and six from the 17 yard line. Van Wert, obviously, I got to believe they're going to keep it on the ground. They've yeah, got I, I don't think Pratt's going to give it away. No, they've got them bunched up on the right side, all their receivers. So they're going to follow, Pratt's going to follow those blockers, and he's going to be hit hard. Oh, my goodness. He was met straight on at the line of scrimmage. Oh, sure did. By number three, that's Logan Zoll. Dollars, the six foot, 170 pound sophomore, and they'll take another timeout, and that's going to bring up third and six. And even at third and six, Gilly, do you put the ball in the air here? Do you try to extend it? Because the clock can't stop. The clock can't stop. So you're at. I think you run the football. Yeah. You know, you know obviously. When you put the ball in play, you're going to get 30 seconds after the play. So you got to you got to figure the ball fourth down is going to be with what about 55 seconds yeah, to yeah, go. Yeah. So that's uh, this is the dilemma that Van works in here with third and three. So it's a manageable third down, a third and three. You got to believe that if Pratt can get outside and maybe you know if he falls down, he's six four. He's going to get a couple yards. So uh, let's see what they call here with a minute 30 to go in West Holm season. It's going to be line. something very high percentage, low risk. Here come the Cougars, 130 to go. Danny Hilbert, Darren Gilbert from Marion Harding High School. Yeah, the game you, of the do, year. You to, do you try to draw them off right here? Well, that's a possibility, a hard count here. Let's see what they do. Pratt's in the gun. He's got Parker to the right side, and you saw that motion there. They did try to draw him off. But West Holmes didn't bite. 
So here comes Pratt. The play clock is at 15 seconds. Well, you got a one-on-one -on -one situation out here on the far side, but you go, but you also got the Division One All-Stater defending. So yeah, Van Wert's going to take one. Take a timeout, and I think that's a good. Day. You're right. Williams Dixon is on the far left side, but do you take a chance throwing to his side? Because if he picks it off, he's gone. <laughs> Absolutely. What questions do you have about life or about God or about things happening in your community or family? Get answers when you watch Life Questions. Each week, four local pastors will discuss relevant topics and answers. Questions submitted by people just like you. Life Questions is on TV 44, Sundays at 1.30 and Wednesdays at 9.30. You can also find it online at WTLW.com. Well, my question is right now, who's going to win this ball game? That's my life question. What a great <laughs> high school football game. How, how could you not get excited for games like this? I mean, both communities out in support and uh, just a fantastic game. A beautiful facility. We haven't even mentioned that. Oh, Marion yes. Hardy's got a beautiful facility. Yep, the old high school. And they decided to keep the football field here, and they've done a great job maintaining have. it, and they post a lot of playoff games here. they got a beautiful track that surrounds this football field, and just great facilities here. So Let's one see what they're doing here. Third and three. They're going to stretch it out. They've got Parker to his left side. they got single coverage on the left with Williams Dixon defending out there. And there goes Parker to the he's left. Stretching. Pratt's going to keep it himself. He's going to go up the middle. Oh, he's, oh, close. he's close. He's oh, close. Boys, it's going to depend on the spot. We're going to see what they say. Say. He's real close. He's real he close. He got the first down. They're going to give him the Leland Smith first down, and that that could do it, partner. If you go to victory formation here, let's see what they do. That's going to do it. Yeah, this is a bit, This could be a victory formation. Yeah, they don't have to do anything silly here just take a knee I, I i don't even think i'd be in in uh in shotgun they I, i'd get myself in uh unless he's just going to step back and take that snap the clock's going to continue to run with 57 seconds to go what's impressive is his composure he's going to let that clock go down it's at six it's at five they'll snap it and they'll take a knee and my goodness they're going to do it partner they're going to upset the Millersburg West Holmes Knights on a fantastic offensive night for the Van Wert Cougars. Yeah, unfortunately, somebody's got to go home tonight. What a great high school football game, a great atmosphere. Unbelievable. You're talking about a team in West Holmes that has scored in, in well, just historic numbers this year. Well, and, that, and that's just it. They have never been in this position this year where they've had to play from behind, so to speak, and they fought their way back, took the lead, but kudos to Van Wert, Coach Recker and his staff. The Cougars are going to move on, partner. Unbelievable, and that'll do it from Marion Harding High School. The Van Wert Cougars defeat the West Holmes Knights 40 to 35. They move on to take on Cleveland Glenville. For Darren Gilbert, Jacob O'Neill, I'm Danny Holbrook saying good night, everyone, and we'll see you next week. Back here at Marion Harding High School with defensive back Luke Wessel. And Luke, I got to ask you, what a matchup between you and Kyle Matrick tonight, the All State receiver. And, and there was a. Struggling it for a minute in the end zone. He got the call. But yeah, he's a heck of a receiver. Definitely one of the top guys I've seen this whole year. Yeah, talk about the athleticism of their receivers. They were all over the field. Oh, yeah, they were athletic. Probably top two receiving cores we've seen all season. Just with him and them and Perkins. They had a lot of speed. They knew, they knew the game really well. And. Nothing much to say other than that. So you win 40-35, and I'm sure all week all you heard was everything about their offensive firepower. But my goodness, you guys held your own tonight. Yes, the media, they're doing a lot, they're doing a lot for them. I was, I was a little intimidated from the media, but I knew if I just played my game and our guys played their game, we'd have a heck of a, we'd have a, heck of a time tonight. Yeah, so on to round four, you get Cleveland-Glenville in a historic program. You excited about that matchup? Yes, it's a great opportunity for us to come in the regional finals. We'll see them next Saturday, and it'll be a good one for That's sure. That's right. I'm back here with Luke Wessel, a big win for the Van Wert Cougars.
back here at Marion Harding High School with Coach Keith, Keith Recker. Excuse me, Coach, what a great win for your kids. Yeah, it's such a, a great job by them. One, coming in with confidence. You know, there were a lot of people that doubted us in this one. Um, and, and for our guys to come in to play the way they did, especially the way we started, uh, so proud of them. Uh, three state, three straight trips to the regional championship, and that hasn't been done before, and uh, our guys have earned all of it. And you talk about momentum tonight, Coach. It was back and forth, and then when West Holmes took the lead, your kids didn't falter at all. No, and that's what, you know, we, we go down, uh, again, about five minutes to go, and the, just the belief in their eyes, very similar to last week when we had to go block a field goal against Perkins. Uh, they just came in that huddle, and they're like, we're, we're getting this done, and, and they never faltered, and it, it was awesome. I want to ask you a little bit about Aiden Pratt. In the first half, he was 25 to 30. It was unbelievable, Coach. He's got such command of that offense. Yeah, he, he's so special to us. It's, it's hard to... Uh, kind of put into words what he means and, and what he does defensively gets overshadowed just because of how great he is offensively. Uh, but completing 75% of his passes and then and then at, you know we ask him to go run the ball like he does. Uh, just the toughness he shows and the grit that uh, kind of wills us to victory. And I know you just won the game, Coach, but is there any thought about next week's matchup with Cleveland Glenville? Uh, I told you guys we're going to have doubters again next week and we're, <laughs> we just need to go execute the game plan and, and we're going to go give it our best shot. That's fantastic. Congratulations, All Coach. Right, A you. big win for the Van Wert Cougars here at Marion Harding High School as they move on to round four in the Ohio High School playoffs.